Hello, everybody. We are back. Uh, announcements. I don't have any. Do you have any, Sam? Uh, we're getting closer. Uh, we have this weekend is the second weekend. We're going to be doing sort of like a workshop to get some character to get character work done. Uh, weekend after that, we're going to be doing an uh, our first off stream, uh, off stream one shot that Ark is actually going to be running. Uh, so I can get a chance to play and find out what how Pathfinder Second Edition plays, and then we're going to be working our way back. So. Making progress. I'm also beautiful. Yeah. I'm also very excited about the. I'm about one getting to play, uh, and two, which I mean I'm playing right now, but getting to play like in the new system and stuff. Uh, I am going to be playing a psychic, which is going to be very fun. Cool. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. The psychic. The, the, there's some really cool stuff with like uh, the stuff I picked. He's going to be. He's an actor who does his like manifests his psionic abilities by like acting, and then they all manifest as like stage. Oh, like that's uh, cool. stage effects that like <laughs> really cool. cause the things to happen. So like if he ca if he casts fly on himself, like a flying harness appears yeah. with a rope that trails oh, off fun. to nowhere that's and lifts the him up. Wheel. Oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, that's um, awesome. <laughs> Kate, do you have any announcements? Um, sure. Uh, Valentine's Day has already passed, but you know what else is upcoming? The spring equinox. Get huh. some uh, gifts for. If you're, uh, if you celebrate the spring equinox, get yourself, you know, maybe a custom crochet uh, mat or a uh, stuffed balloon or maybe a bumblebee. I have some, I have a friend who actually commissioned me to make some uh, very special bumblebees that are half ghost, half bee called boobies. Ah. So check those out if you want some. Um, you can order any custom item you'd like uh, on my custom listing. Um, at etsy.com slash shop slash Studio US. It is a $3 pre-order just to get your spot in the door. Um, but that is fully refundable if you decide to back out of your commission. Um, so check it out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, wonderful. So, last we left off, uh, you all, uh, well, not you all, because you're, you're different characters, sort of. But the Faust and the Furious watched as a group of individuals step through a part, step through a portal. Uh, the only recognizable figure in that group was one Ogden Boone, the party's patron. And Ogden had brought along some friends. Uh, and, yeah. uh, you know, just some nice little people to hang out with. And uh, you all had a conversation with one Ilyaris and Natus about these rifts that have been appearing across the world and how they're connected to the infected ley lines that have been causing problems ever since the War of Ascension. Because the god goddess of magic wasn't around to keep them in check, so they died, and bad stuff started happening, and Cathosis is using those rifts to basically spread his influence throughout the world. So basically, you know get past how he's stuck in the far realm blah 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 uh and closing these rifts seems to be the way to sort of help curb that a bit so uh after much discussions and fun little reunions for some uh you all decided to team up with three people from the faust and the furious on each group that because the faust and the furious are the only ones in this sort of scenario who can close these rifts because they got eyeballs on their bodies well new ones new fun eyeballs and uh yeah so each group's got three members of the faust and the furious in it to kind of help close these rifts um the first group consisting of druck henrifex once known as henry lofferton esquire the human mm -hmm. lawyer uh eclipse of the moon a tabaxi Rogue Bard, and then Yvonne was the other member of this new group, a Tiefling Cleric, and uh, you all, this group decided to go to the incursion point on the continent of Bosgrave, set inside a haunted house, or not a haunted house, but like a abandoned, derelict manor known as Bent Hill House, while as the other team made up of the other characters, decided to head to the incursion point in Idolot, underneath the tavern known as The Descent, since that was already just picked as a contract for the Faust and the Furious, so that's where that group's going. 
But we're not focusing on that group right now. We're telling the story of this little group, Team 1, as they attempt to close the incursion point in Bent Hill House. Uh, they arrived in Bossgrave, met a individual who guarded the tower uh, there, and he basically warned them of the mists of this land and how the blood of creatures turns people into weird monsters, so don't get touched by the blood. Uh, and you all made your way through the forest of dead trees towards the house, encountering strange individuals hanging from gibbets in the trees who were all basically speaking out of tummies on their belly or faces on their bellies and uh voices and <laughs> they shared basically the same voice all these creatures and henry was able to see invisible creatures in the forest sort of keeping watch on you all and also sort of seemed to be exhaling that mist that was dominating the forest you all eventually arrived at the house however and all climbed over the gate in some way or other. And upon watching your party members uh, cross the gate, get to the other side, get onto the property, you didn't see them anymore until you all got to the other side uh, and saw the manor itself. Derelict, abandoned, of course, all boarded up. There was a well nearby and a hedge maze in the back. The well was investigated initially, and what just happened? Sorry, my computer <laughs> fritz out. Did I like that? That, that was super weird. creepy. You were caught. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> whoa, whoa. What's happening there? The last time that happened, you got caught like doing something that looked like it was from a horror movie. You're just like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> didn't like it. Didn't like it. <laughs> didn't like it. I was like, what the fuck's going on? All right. You've cursed yeah. the stream. Justin. So, uh, <laughs> it investigated the well. Uh, <laughs> saw it reflections in the well and a door at the bottom of the well. Can't remember who swam down to open the well. I think it was Henry. It was somebody. Yeah. He went down, opened the door at the bottom of the well, causing all the water to get siphoned or disappear. And Henry ended up somewhere randomly in the house. Everybody else followed, appearing in their own separate rooms in the house, mostly split up, with only Druck and Eclipse being the only two appearing in the same room. So. You've all been sta stranded throughout this strange manner, except for Drucken Eclipse. You've appeared in the attic together as a strange looking child standing in the attic in the corner sprouted spider like limbs from their back as spiders and webs begin to stream out of their mouth. As Eclipse approaches, it lunges towards Eclipse, shrieking and screaming. Before we move on, I'll describe the room briefly. There's a trap door directly beneath the Druck. Druck is standing directly on top of it. That is, it's one of those attic doors that you push down and it turns into stairs. Nice. Uh, the attic is filled with clutter and old furnishings covered in dusty white sheets. There are no windows. Mm -hmm. In the cellar, the strange slimes have begun to pool out of the wine barrels and bottles and coalescing into separate masses and begin to slowly inch towards Henry, their forms causing the stone to sizzle and melt with acid. Henry. Henrifex. Mm -hmm. You see two possible exits. A door at the top of the stairs directly behind you, like within touching. You can just reach back and touch it. Um, and a large set of double doors that are 30 feet away, sitting against the wall behind a row of shelves now filled with shattering bottles. Just tsh, tsh, tsh. Uh, The door is accessible by a small ramp, clearly used for getting things in and out of the cellar with wagons and stuff, like mm -hmm. shipments and stuff. There is also a dumbwaiter on the eastern wall about 30 feet away. Flitz, you watch as numerous creepy-looking marionettes begin to crawl out from behind other toys out of a large toy box and under the bed. Just like, like they're like weird wooden limbs, kind of like, and they're like, Flitz, come play with us. As they start to like crawl out, being like invisibly, like, it's like they're being invisibly puppeteered, the way they're moving. Um... They begin to sprout long silver sewing needles from their palms while <laughs> giggling as these needles just slowly slide out. Just th um, You're in what appears to be a child's bedroom. There is a single door directly behind you. There is a door on the wall. Yeah. Wait. Not a door. Wrote that down wrong. There is a window on the wall directly above the bed that has been boarded up. That's for you. Coin. You have appeared in the kitchen and dining room combo, 
and watch as a strange small creature resembling a humanoid with curdled pale skin crawled out from the oven as its head began to inflate like a balloon made of skin and it would go go in go in uh, there are two wooden doors directly behind you, split about 15 feet apart, and a boarded up back door that leads into the backyard towards the hedge maze, directly opposite of you. It's about 20 feet away. Four windows face into the backyard and are also boarded up. And finally, Yvonne. You appear in this dusty master bedroom and watch as the four poster king size bed stands upright as long slender arms and legs spread out from the side and a large grinning maw of jagged teeth opens up within the seams of the mattress along with two long barbed purple tongues you step out of the wardrobe because you came out of the wardrobe and see the door to this room directly behind this mimic two windows flank the sides of the wardrobe and are boarded up with the great like door to the dumbwaiter on the wall beside the door you each hear the doors of the room you're in, each door in each room you're in, begin to lock by themselves. Just oh, shit. And I need you all to roll initiative. Ah! Right. Yay! I'm so excited uh, for this. I do want to bring up that I absolutely <clears throat> forgot that I had that I had Lenny. So, mm. he's not with us. He's going to have stayed wherever oh. we were, okay. probably. <laughs> but just re re like retconning that, hey, I didn't forget about my fun little dragon yeah. boy, but he is not here. Fair enough. All right, let's get some initiative right. rolls going on. Kaboom. Oh, Henry. 30-20. Oh, I thought, I thought that I saw a six in there. You did. All Henry right. has advantage right. on an, an initiative. So it was a six and a 20. Perfect. Must be nice. Your flail of warning. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh, as, the, it, as the flail bursts out of his arm. Got a 19 for Eclipse. Nice! nice. Yeah, it's nice for... having a plus 13 to roll. <laughs> Eclipse wow. is a plus 13. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow! All right. So, Flitz, you watch as two... Uh, the ones that are crawling out of the toy box look like two creepy ventriloquist dummies. One's wearing a suit and tie, kind of like Slappy from Goosebumps. The other one looks like a creepy bride without a lower jaw. And they're both going to come running at you. Mm -hmm. The little wooden shoes <laughs> glittering, mm -hmm. clattering along the floor, and they're going to go to stab you with that little needle sticking out of their hands. Beautiful. Uh, seven <laughs> to hit on the first one. Ooh. He shifts out the way. And then the second one. 18. Uh, he's in a shield. Okay, so... And, yeah, they're both just looking at your head tilted to the side and smiling. Why so, aren't you playing okay, Only two has run up to me, correct? Yep. Said. Okay. Henry. Mm -hmm. You're directly... The door is... The door... There's a door directly behind you. You're basically, like, up against it almost. Mm -hmm. You got the double doors... 20 or so feet away behind some shelves and you got a bunch of slimes making their way towards you just melting the floor as they move along and they're like a, they're made yeah they look like they're made oh. of wine oh okay uh so what's gonna happen is a conversation that no one else is really gonna see um but the the chains of the flail are gonna like form up into a face uh, and for the and then for the first time since like he's been here, he's at, his his voice splits back into its two composite parts, uh, and uh, Carnifex is gonna say to Henry, "Oh come on, let me have fun, let me play. Can I play with them?" And then Henry is going to look around at all of them and just kind of with a distasteful look and say, "You know what? Actually, I think I will like just let you loose on this one. This seems." Unpleasant. So uh, go ahead, have fun, and uh, wake me up when you're done. And uh, what's going to happen, I'll, I'll tell you what's happening and tell you what the, what's mechanically Yeah, happening. yeah. Uh, Henry, uh, just Henry, the Henry part, just kind of like eyes roll back and he just kind of slumps down. But then he's like held up by his, the, the chain just kind of like is still holding up. So he's like held up by his arm as if like the chains are holding him up. And then they're just going to like sink back into his body. And then like you're going to be able to see just like 
throughout his body, like arms and legs and everything. Like you can see the chains like under his skin, like spreading throughout his body. And then he's gonna slowly start turning, very quickly start turning red. The red eyes grow brighter. Uh, and uh, wings sprout out of his back, a long tail, fangs, horns, turns completely red. Uh, as he, what he's actually going to be doing is using his ninth level spell slot to cast True Polymorph yep. into a Pit Fiend. What's the size of a Pit Fiend? Uh, large. Perfect. So you're just... Yes. And you just, you, you're basically grazing the ceiling. Yeah. Um, and Carnifex has taken full control. Yes. Um, and what he's going to do is... And with is... True Polymorph, you're not... Uh, you have access to this creature's spell slots and everything, unlike shape change. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, but you don't main, you don't retain your yeah. spell slots and stuff. Um, I did check though; they don't keep you don't keep legendary actions. Correct. Uh, unfortunately, um, but uh, I can't really do anything else on my turn because that's my action. But I do get access to 120 foot telepathy. You do. So uh, I'm just going to try and reach out to whoever I, whoever is closest with that telepathy. Roll a d100. Okay. Because this house be weird. Oh, yeah. Uh, eight. You don't feel it connect to anybody. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Oh, well. All right, that'll be Henry's turn. Is turning into a pit fiend. Yay. Let's go. Eclipse, you're in front of this weird creature the spider creature uh okay. and it's like hissing at you and screaming and shrieking gotcha um okay uh, <laughs> i haven't played this character in two years um okay i think i'm just going to be lame and attack uh with my uh rapier Go for it. Uh, that i have named moon sliver Okay. Uh, that's a natural 17 with a plus 14 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. Uh, and that is 28 plus 8. Uh, because I am the only creature in melee with this, and I am a swashbuckler, do I see, also you, you get, get sneak my, attack. I get yep. sneak attack? Yep. Okay. How many sneak attack die is that? A lot. I think, yeah, I think it's a lot now. A lot. Right? Yeah. It's a lot now. I think it's like a plus 8. It's 8d6. Holy shit. Do I have that many? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need two more. Didn't prepare. Five, uh, seven. I need one more D6. Eight. Okay. Oh, that's balls. Okay. Six, twelve, eighteen. 24, 34, 38 plus 8. 46. Uh, 38 plus 8 is 46 points of piercing damage. Yep. Um, and then bonus action. Oh, what's it called? Uh, firearm speed. Uh, firearm. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Yep. Um, bonus action, pull out my pistol and shoot the thing uh, while backing up. Alright. I think that's going to be a uh, disadvantage because you're in melee shooting a gun. Uh, can I just take my movement and then shoot? Oh, yeah, right. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Swashbuckler um, also but... can get attack of opportunity if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a plus 12 to hit. That's a natural 20. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, 1d10. So yeah, That's just stab, step, step, step. Uh, that is, uh, sixteen points of piercing damage. Oh, nice. That thing's looking hurt. <laughs> just a little stab bit. Stab and then bang as you back up. All right. Any, yeah. Anything else? Uh, that was my action and bonus action and movement. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna hope, I'm gonna call it there. I'm cool beans. That's that's a Druxies. Uh, all right. Uh. Yeah. Flits, the marionettes that were under the bed come crawling towards you now. <laughs> Not impacting their movement speed at all, just how they move. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and these two are going to attack you. 
So you got four of them around you now, just like uh, fifteen to hit. My AC is currently twenty-three. Which oh yeah, so they're just like trying to stab through the shield. It's gusts of wind that are like picking up oh, and perfect, making a miss. Druck. Uh, that was a good hit. <clears throat> He'll like stomp a foot on the on the the ladder thing just, just right. to see if it gives way. Cool. As you like go to like basically open the door, um where am I here? Uh a mouth kinda opens up on it, like <clears throat> with like gnashing teeth and a long tongue. Uh and it's gonna spit a globule of green phlegm at you and I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Cool. Is this like a reaction type thing because of because it's happening during my turn. All right. Cool. Uh, that is totally cool. I love it. I dig it. This is neat. Uh, dexterity saving you throw, you said? Yes, please. All right. That's an 18. Succeeds. You dodge this ball of phlegm as it just hits the ceiling. And then the mouth, yeah. it just kind of shrinks back down into the door. Cool. Is my foot stuck? Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, depending on what we've got here, um, is Eclipse directly in front of me? I think I would have like moved to the side so that you could have uh, aim because I I am at like just so you could have a straight path to get this person like in the okay. most efficient way. You do not cool. have sneak attack though because Eclipse is not within five feet of it. Oh, that's nope. right. Oh, okay. No, that's cool. Uh, uh, I... Bonus action, steady aim. Okay. Uh, and so I will uh, fire. And every time it gets like stabbed or gets a wound, you see like little tiny spiders kind of just spill out. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, that's a 20 to hit. That hits. Okay. That is... Uh, oh, that's a few things, isn't it? Okay. 38, uh, uh, lightning damage. All right, it's looking real bad. Just, it's like, <laughs> good. <laughs> Die, demon child. Anything else? Action, bonus action. Uh, that uses up all my right. movement too. Alrighty. So So uh, I'm there. Cool. I'm right there with that yep. freaky door. <laughs> Avon, you step out of the wardrobe. Two windows beside the wardrobe. A door behind this bed that is now stomping through the room. The bed creature is huge, so it's actually like cramped in this chamber, basically blocking everything, like blocking the door and everything. But it is a big creature that takes up the entire room when it becomes a mimic. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, Yvonne just kind of sees it, and as they step out of the wardrobe, they just kind of like click their tongue. They're just like, you know, normally the bed isn't involved when I'm around, but I'm down to try anything. And as she's doing this, she's hitting her whip in her hand, mm -hmm. and as she's doing this, um you would see it looks like there's something almost sparking and pulsing as she's hitting her hand with it and she is it's uh i haven't played this class before but what it is is um it's divine strike and it's just something you can mm -hmm. do as an yep. uh eighth level so like um her whip is now getting imbued with like divine energy okay <clears throat> so as she's doing that she's going to click it like she's going to whip it in the air beside her and as she does that uh she's bonus action she is casting spiritual weapon what does your spiritual at, weapon look like uh a badass motherfucking cat of nine tails bitch. okay you gotta you gotta go big or you gotta go home okay and i'm casting it at the fourth level okay and if I'm not mistaken... You make an attack when, with it automatically, yeah. 
Yeah, when Sam does it, you get to pick where you put it. Yep. But he, the bed is a big boy. Um, so obviously I'm going to put it right by the bed and I am going to hit it with yeah, it. Yeah, make an attack with it. Please hit. Does an 18 hit? An 18 does hit. Yvonne, destroyer of beds. Basically. Mm. <laughs> I love you so much, Garrett. So yeah, uh, hits, roll me some damage. So that will be... 11 damage, mm -hmm. and that, is that just regular? Force yep, damage. Force. And then, so that was my yep. bonus action. Yep. And then as my action, I am going to, now that it's in, has the divine essence yep. rolling through it, uh, as I hit it back, that spawns in, hits him, I'm going to whip my own whip yep. forward, because it's a 10 foot reach. It is. And I am going to try to hit the bad boy. Make me an attack with your whip. That'd be great. But I don't think it's going to hit. That was only an eight. No. No. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, Yvonne is just still sitting there, just like staring it down, not. There's. Not letting this bed think that they're getting the best for her, just like she's still the what one a, in charge. What here. a sentence. All right. <laughs> yep. uh, that's going to bring us to the mimic crawler. Which creature is that? Let's find out. It's going to turn it, the little childlike pouch where the spider thing grew out of. It's a child pouch, basically. It's going to look at Druk and go, You are me now. And I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Ah! <laughs> Oh, no. Hashtag right. child pouch. Spider Hashtag kid. child pouch. Hashtag child pouch? Yeah. Uh, Gross. Is there anything I can do on a reaction? Uh, all right. No. So, you said Christmas saving throw? Yes, please. Oof, this isn't going to go well. Got it. What'd you get? Negative ah! one. <laughs> <Hey! laughs> all right, cool. Be so, Druck and Eclipse, you watch as the child pouch turns into a Druck pouch as it's just like a tiny little drug staring back and it pulls out a laser pistol <laughs> having mimicked oh. drug <laughs> and it's going to aim at drug it started blasting and uh so anyway i started blast and uh basically it when it mimics you it gains your class abilities and everything nice so it's going to aim oh, a laser pistol at drug and go see how you're like this <laughs> and it's going to steady in with that too Oh, God damn. Oh, Do it. Uh, I'm going to silvery barbs that so it has disadvantage on the roll. So straight roll. So like, yeah, straight roll, right. no sneak attack. So this is going to be a d20 plus 10 because oh. it's mimicking Druk. That's a 27 to hit. That hits. Fuck. Yeah. So. But no sneak <laughs> attack. And it does. Oh, and. Because silver bars. Uh, it had advantage, but the... it's, a, it's a straight roll, though, so it's. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good save. Uh, so I'm gonna give advantage to Druk's next roll. All right. So just three d six plus five then. Druk, you take nineteen radiant damage. Aye just because you get shot by your own weapon, basically. <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going it's like, to. It's kind of like getting tased. You have to get you have to get tased first before you can use your taser. <laughs> so that's Druk. <laughs> so yeah, the little. So you see like this basically. Rowdy. You see this little like stubby Druk kind of form out of the skin pouch on the front of this spider thing, and it just is now Druk. Yeah, I'm it's gonna Danny uncanny. DeVito in a Sasquatch outfit. It's basically Dan, it's Druk. It's uh, Danny DeVito sized Druk. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna uncanny yeah, dodge that. that. Sure, you can have it. So that is <clears throat> nine damage. Yep. Okay. Cool. Well, that's that thing. It's currently mimicking Druk, which is fun. Which oh, means uh, it has all of your resistances as well and everything, but you guys don't know ah. that. Oh, yeah, and it also has wings. So actually, yeah. oh. oh, you said he aims, so it can't move. God well, that's fine. Damn. Uh, coin, you see this weird thing crawl out of the oven. Its its skin has like a texture of curdled milk, and its head is inflating and saying your name as it's slowly walking towards you. Uh, what's the distance it's away from me? Fifteen feet. Uh, so coin is going to look at it, um, and 
I'm going to use my bonus action to activate the uh, the hilt uh, and button that gives me the 15 uh, feet distance. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually going to do something pretty rowdy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fly. Uh, what's the ceiling of this? Uh, what's the what the height of the uh, standard of kitchen building? height? We'll say like. 10, 10 to 15? 15? No, it wouldn't be 15. Probably be like 10, 10 right? feet, yeah. That's fair. That's definitely fair. Um, I'm going to get up that 10. Sure. I'm going to I'm gonna just fly up the 10. Damn. And then just attack it. Go for from it. From 15 feet. Wow, it's wild. I'm by myself, so like I, I don't have automatic advantage, which nope. is what a sassy thing for me to point out right now. Um, Twenty-two to hit. Hits, please. Awesome. And as, um, as you like cut into this thing, it do, its blood looks like curdled white milk as it just like pours out. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, so I've uh, hit it. Yeah. Twenty-two. I've done eleven damage, and I'm gonna go ahead and cast a level 2 smite which I believe is 3d8 yes thank you sir um, so that is a total of so that's 30 damage perfect does this thing fit into on the first or undead hit. nope cool sorry thank that, you would add, that would add an extra d8 but yeah thanks Sorry, I'm la I'm laughing because I'm trying to think of more German things to say, which is just a cross I have to bear. I don't want to put anyone else. Through I feel that. that. Um, I I know, I know your pain. <laughs> um, Been there, done that. Oh, but it's lovely. It's a it's a good it's a good pain. Twenty six for the second. Oh yeah, hit. of course. You slash into the bloatling. Love it. <laughs> All right, so we are at. Uh, so, so far, uh, I did 30 damage with the first hit and a level 2 smite. Yep. I'm going to do another level 2 smite. Perfect. We're at 48 total damage so far on this turn. 48 total damage, and we are adding another 23 oh. uh, radiant damage. So that is... 71. Uh, so we were at 48. Uh, yeah, dude, good fast math. Yeah. Very good. So that's this game's 71. Helped. This game's helped. <clears throat> Uh, so that is seventy-one uh, damage. Holy shit! Seventy-one damage worth. How's that? How's that little? How's that little? He's looking hurt. Uh, how's that hot pocket? Just looking? he's oozing curdled milk blood onto the floor in puddles. Mm. Um, that's and I already color my, and I used, texture is what the blood looks like. I've used my movement. I've used my bonus action. Yep. And I've used my yep. regular action. Yeah. I mean, I still have some movement left. You do. Fuck it, I'm ten feet up. He, I, what, let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm really bummed that you are. All right, let's Sorry, bring honey. us to the bed. It's <laughs> I'll gonna make say, it, it's I'll, good. Oh, go ahead. Auf Wiedersehen, lebendiges Fleisch. <laughs> it's how it responds. And just a little. That's more of a Caleb thing. Uh, the, <laughs> bed, thing the bed, the bed mimic is gonna make three attacks on Avon. All right. Yeah, I think that's fair. First off, it's gonna come in with its long, gangly arms for a nineteen to hit. Doesn't hit. For a twenty-seven to hit. That 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 one hits. Okay. Nine piercing damage. Oh, key do key. Plus, that's it actually, or bludgeoning damage. And uh, as it hits you with its one arm, you're kind of like glued to it, as you adhere to its arm. And then it's going to come in with the other arm with advantage because you're now restrained. Ability checks made to escape this grapple have disadvantage. Oi, oi. So you're grappled and restrained. So you're stuck, and then it, with advantage, it's going to come and punch you in the side of the head with the other arm. For uh, 26 to hit. That hits. 11 bludgeoning damage. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. And then it's going to lift you up towards its massive mouth. <sighs> As it is basically going to try, it can fit the entirety of you in its mouth. So it's trying to deep throat me. Okay. It's going to try to bite you in half. Thanks. Which is worse. Uh, oh, yeah. 24 to hit. Yeah. 13 piercing damage. Cool, oh, shit. Cool, Thanks cool, for the sub, cool. whoever you are. I will not be paying attention to chat because I'm busy. Uh, and then seven acid as it just sort of like it has like your upper half in its mouth and is like slowly like chewing on you just normally fall. people pay me to do this interesting okay maybe I will <laughs> <laughs> maybe I will say thank you to the person in chat thank you for the hype train as well and gifting all those subs mm. all right um that's that let's go to the bloatling that coin is fighting in the kitchen coin you see that it was trying to inflate its skin sack and actually get it over your own head to sort of suffocate you but now you're up in there it can't do that so bonus action it's going to inflate its head with air just <laughs> also increasing its size to medium because it was basically your size now it's medium uh, and it's going to do a vocal burst and it's going to go -da! just scream at the top of its lungs as a vocal sound wave blast towards you, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Cannot hear you, though. I said I'm doing it on the table because I'm a hero. Do it. Which is, what a lie. Uh, 22 total. All right. You don't take any thunder damage, and you're not stunned. Uh, yeah, I mean, flavor-wise, probably flying, gonna, bing, like, cover one ear, but still just be like, ugh, still shake your, shake, do the, ah, oh, it hurt, like that, one, uh, <laughs> fair. Alrighty, that's the bloatling. <laughs> that's gonna bring us to the porcelain dolls that are crawling out of the toy box and running towards Flitz. <laughs> It's just surrounded, <laughs> and they're gonna make needle attacks on you. Huzzah! Twenty-three. Yeah, your shield still up. It's still for. It's still like technically, it's still like one big on long one round of combat. Uh, yep. That misses. That misses. So they both miss. Bringing us to the slimes in the basement, or the first grouping of slimes yeah. in the basement. Uh. Excellent. It's just going to try to slap you with these <laughs> ooze okay. tendrils. As they like slowly like make their way towards you. Ooze tendril attack. Okay. Uh, 23 to hit. Uh, yes, that hits. Uh, wait, the quick question, Justin. Yeah. Uh, are these attacks magical and or silver? No. Nope. Okay, then I, I'm resistant to them. Hmm. Yep. Resistant, not immune, though. Yep. Uh, Could have picked rock shots and just been like, ha, 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 ha. 11 bludgeoning damage reduced to... 5. 5. Yep. And... 13 necrotic. Ooh, that I don't think... I think you, I think you take that. Yeah, take that full. Luckily, a pit fiend has 300 hit points. Yep. Uh, constitution saving throw. Yeah. Is that uh, the concentration check or a separate one? Nope. Oh, wait. Okay. You, you need to make concentration check. Your I know. And if you focus, so... if you have it for the entirety, it's permanent. Well, until, until the spell. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, the, the duration is an hour, too. But yeah, DC 10 concentration check for po your polymorph. Okay. Um, well, I have a plus 13 con modifier, so... No way to fail. Yeah. So, I, do you even want me to roll it, or... Nah. Okay, so then the regular con mod. Con yes, please. Save. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's a 17. Succeeds. Henry's hit point maximum is not reduced. Ooh, it would have gone straight ooh. into Henry. Because you don't. Hit point maximum doesn't get reduced on uh, forms oh. you take, yeah. yeah. Cool. The other slime is like up on the ceiling. And it's going to go for its pseudopod attack. For a 15 only. No, that misses. 
Flitz, you're surrounded by, I believe, two, four, four of the six puppet things, creatures, or two, No, four. I think all you're, six. You're surrounded by six. There's eight total, yeah. but you're surrounded by six. Oh, okay. So six, six definitely made it. Uh, the other two that are still kind of crawling out towards you look like Renaissance style puppets. The ones that are, were used in like the um, weird oh, like yeah. roadside things. Like a, like a Punch and Judy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what those puppets look like. But they're still making their way towards you. But uh, yeah, you've got six around you so far trying to stab at you with their needles. That's my go. Yes. Alright, how far away are the other two? Uh, 15 feet. Okay. Doors directly um, behind you and there's a boarded up window above the child's bed. So as the <clears throat> as the six rush in and the air is whipping around, creating these, uh, making their uh, strikes miss, the air becomes those like gusts of wind become razor sharp. Mm -hmm. um, as Flitz, as he lifts his arm almost in defense, and he says stop, and as he does that, he does a sword burst. Okay. So I need all six of them to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. As he, yeah, as he kind of uh, 17. 18 is my DC. Okay. 21. 5. 21. 10. I think I got two more left or one more? Two more. 9. 18. Um, so the three that failed take uh, 12 force damage as the yeah. wind just blasts them. And he is going to uh, quicken spell. He's going to use his quicken meta magic to yep. cast. Uh, as he does that, uh, he one leg kind of goes out and he takes a solid stance and as the second foot hits the ground mm -hmm. Flitz vanishes okay and there's a thunderous boom oh, okay cool that echoes out uh, as he casts thunderstep okay um so thunder can be heard for up to 300 feet away <laughs> from yep. up to 300 feet away creatures within 10 feet need to make a constitution saving throw Okay, so that's going to be the six. Yep. Seven. Three. Twenty. Four. Fifteen. Eleven. Okay, so I think they all failed? Only one, only one succeeded. Only one succeeded? Yep. So the ones that failed take thirty because the oh. extra thunder damage... Um, from his elemental. Yeah. Uh, so the total was twenty six, so thirty. So the ones that failed take thirty. The ones that succeeded take fifteen. Okay, you kill all but one. And that, aside uh, from the two that are still too far away. And he is going to appear, <laughs> like right in front of the door, <laughs> as he. Okay. But there is a, I don't know how loud the boom is, if it's okay. heard. Uh, so you're like, you were standing right right in front of the door when you started, so. Oh, he'll be away from the, the okay, yeah, cool. he'll go away. All right, so yeah, you killed all of the ones that were attacking you, minus one. So that's five. Little carrionette's dead now. Oh. Yay, Flitz. Well done. <laughs> that was really uh. cool had to think of options if you they were going to stay far away or if they were going to yeah if you could have roll shit initiative like you don't want to you don't want that wanna, action economy would have fucked you don't want to have these things do what guys. they're built to do Alrighty. anything else let's that's your turn that is he's gonna he'll try to get as far away from the other all right can. the room's like 20 by 20 yeah, on all dimensions yeah, so yeah um the final creepy little toys the punching judy dolls are going to weirdly crawl towards you incredibly fast, even though they're basically hand puppets. Just <laughs> with their full movement speed, they're going to come towards you, Flitz, and they're going to make their two little needle attacks on you. 
13, 23. Oh, yeah, it'll hit. So it lun the second one lunges at you, but only grips around your ankle, and it's like cackling as it does so, and like mimicking punching your ankle. And as it's punching, the needle slides out and it slides into your shin. Ow. And you feel it scrape on the shin bone. Oh. Ow. And I, you take one piercing damage. Oh, okay. And one necrotic damage. And I need you to make a charisma oh. saving throw. Uh, which you should be fine with because you're Sorlock. That's a magical effect? Uh, it is. I think it's only on in, on wisdom and intel intelligence, isn't it? No, it's all three. Wiz and Yay! Wisdom. Fuck you. Gnomes! <laughs> yeah. Uh, 29. Yeah, you succeed. You're not cursed by the doll. <laughs> I don't like the doubt of that. That sounds bad. If I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> if you, yeah, you, you, I, I throw, I've thrown them at the Ravenloft party a couple of times. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. So, Henrifex. Mm -hmm. More slimes. <laughs> inching their way towards you. Okay. Uh, I did forget to mention, I don't know if they're, they're, they're probably, are they immune to fear? No. Oh, well then they all actually, uh, uh, so pit fiends have a fear aura, they do, so yeah. they actually need to make a wisdom saving throw at the beginning of each of their turns to avoid being frightened of this right. pit fiend. Uh, all right, I'll remember that, I for, forgot the that for, for the, for the yeah. previous slimes, but for these ones, it's a wisdom, right? Yep. Oh fuck! DC, is... DC twenty one. Slimes have a lot of wisdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Ten <laughs> minus three for a seven for the first one. Failed. Frightened. Fifteen minus three. Yeah. Cool. Failed. So frightened. They were entering towards you. They're about like fifteen feet away. They just kind of turn and. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, Henry Pit Fiend Henry Pit Pit Reflex. <laughs> this is actually just, just Carnifex. This is just this Carnifex. is basically Carnifex has just used Henry's magic to manifest himself a de a devil body. The chain devil uh, has a promotion. Yes, the, he 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 basically magically promoted himself <laughs> from chain devil to pit fiend. Right. But, just uh, like took enough ta had enough yeah. warlock magic to just like come on now fuel his transformation. He found a loophole. Yes, no, no, is no, actually no. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. Carnifex is a nepo baby, is what we're saying. Uh, oh yeah, uh, absolutely. It is. Yeah, it's your turn. As a okay. So you get all, um, you get all your pipping attacks with true polymorph. You do not get your class abilities. Yep. <clears throat> um, and I realized that this is concentration, so I can't use one. I can't use the yeah. the three the three times a day spells because both of those are. Uh, uh, yeah. True both of those are concentration true spells. Is one because you do get access to their spell lists because you don't yeah. have shape change. But yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, which means I do get one spell in particular. Okay, uh, is this room, is this basement less than 40 feet in, in like, diameter, I think? Uh, I'd be like, oh, very much so. Alright, so here's what, uh, Carnifex is going to do. Um, Carnifex is going to move so he's no longer adjacent to any of them. Yeah, sure. So that they, well, I think there was one next to <laughs> him so we can take the attack. So as you're, like, going down the stairs, the stairs just, <laughs> collapse. Okay. Because you're just, <laughs> It's not affecting you anyway. You just yeah. crush the stairs. Just crun yeah. Crunch my way through the stairs. Yeah, <laughs> you're like knocking like over middle. shelves as you walk. <clears throat> yeah, moves. I, I suppose I was adjacent to one, so it'll probably get an attack of opportunity as I move away. Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, continue. Wait, hold on. What's his attack bonus? The What's what? Attack? I I I rolled and I'm like, oh, it's not gonna hit. Okay, twenty three. Oh, that will hit actually. I forgot I beefed these up so they could actually, like, yeah. stand a chance against Henry, but then I mm -hmm. forgot that you could do things. <laughs> uh, Level 20! 16 bludgeoning, which is reduced to 8. So, 8. And 5 necrotic. So, 13 total. So, okay, don't even and... bother with the con save. Yep. Alright, yeah, that's why it's fun turning into something that has a ridiculous con save. Yep. Um, okay, and then uh, uh, current effects in the middle of the room... Uh, because he can cast this spell at will as a pit fiend, he's just gonna drop a fireball at his own feet. <laughs> yep, and it's at will third level, so. Yep. Yep. He can yeah. do that as much as he wants so... for the next hour. <laughs> at just spam him. I'm gonna roll some <laughs> dice to see if people hear that around the house. I'm gonna do that for the thunder what stuff the... as well. What the fuck? Because this house is weird. No one in the house hears the fireball. Interesting. Uh... And no one in the house hears the thunder step. 
Damn. All right. Yeah. I was hoping one of us would do the thunder. So, uh, yeah, deck Damn. saves. They got, a minus one to their, they got a minus one of their deck saves. Well, it's a DC yeah. 21 they can't, they deck can't save. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, fireball Let's is 8 it. D6 fire damage. Yeah. yeah. Damage. Let's go. 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm immune to fire damage. You are, because Pit Fiend. Yep. Uh, 21 fire damage to, to everything in this room. Alrighty, cool. <laughs> they look fine. Alright. They look fine like they're immune to fire damage? No, 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 like, like they're, 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 they're okay. Okay. Yeah, imagine yeah. Carnifex just launching fireballs for an hour and nothing dies. Carnifex has the <laughs> I think he would try something else Carnifex has point. the fire flower from Mario. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright, anything yeah, else? He's just... I just uh, I just want to contextualize how this looks. He just like holds up his hand so like the the bead appears like in his claws, and instead of tossing it, he just like palms it into the floor. Just just spikes like, it. <laughs> cool. Just right. like takes it, lets the fire wash over himself, um, enjoys the immunity. Anything else? No, that'll be it. Okay. Cool. Amazing. Eclipse. Amazing. This thing now looks like the bugbear you've only met like how long? How long mm -hmm. has it been? Like two hours ago. Two hours? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna. And it's like, it, it, it's a, it, when it, because it's before it was like making like shrieking noises. Imagine shrieking noises, but sa but drug shrieking. <laughs> Here, can you. Uh... There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and it also has, it's also holding a laser pistol in its hand. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. Right. Uh, okay. Two. Uh, absolutely. Wonderful. Um, you know what? Oldie but a goodie. I'm gonna run up to it and stab it. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> hey! Its AC is also boosted now because it copied drug. Yeah. Um, mm. but it's not so... boosted to a 24, is it? Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that. Um, and then 1d8 plus 8d6 for sneak attack. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely going to un uncanny okay. dodge, though, because it now has that ability. It's just like, Bleh. yeah, that means it has no reaction, though. So that's awesome. Uh. We'll see if it's uncanny dodge does anything. That's another balls roll. OK, um, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. 32 plus 8 is 40, so that's 40 more piercing damage. So it cuts it down to 20. Oh, it's looking rough. Um. Wait, when uh, this one bleeds, then... meat stew pours out. Oh. Delicious. A familiar meat stew <laughs> drug. Oh. oh. Delicious. Um, and then I'm going to bonus action <laughs> Bardic Inspiration drug. Okay. Which, as a quick refresher, Eclipse's Bardic Inspirations can also be added to damage rolls for healing. Thank um, you. So, Druk also has so Druk has advantage and a Bardic Inspiration on his next attack roll, ability check, or saving throw uh, from Silvery Barbs and Inspiration. For fun, uh, what then your, I'm, what's your Inspiration I'm, sound like? Uh, I'm gonna like first, like slash. Go down on three hand, uh, on my hands, on one hand, and just kind of like you know, like not like crawl, but like slink around the back, and uh, like put my blade up to this thing's neck. Oh, okay. Uh, and like kind of like not really hold it in place for him, um, but like acting like I am and say, "Shoot yourself in the face. It's fun." Perfect. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Druck, it's your turn. I like this cat. <laughs> uh, and he is gonna... Yeah, he has advantage on the attack, so he's gonna mm -hmm. go ahead and just do a straight-up attack at advantage. Go for it. It's got three hit points. Let's go. Finish it, Druck. Let's go! Let's go! 24 to hit! That hits. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so as how do you kill it? Your your munchkin version of yourself. Uh gosh, that's weird. Yeah. Um 
because it's got uh, Eclipse has it around its neck uh, or is positioned yeah, in like such a way. Like... Yeah. Yeah. It, because it's positioned and she's positioned in such a way, Truck's gonna uh, do a combo like knee to take it down Hell yeah. and then use his movement, walk up, and then just execution style. Just does like that that head movement of like, god damn it, and then just blows it right in the head. Special beam cannon style. Alrighty, cool. Uh, as it dies, it melts into the floor, and you hear the door unlock. Ooh. Anything else? Uh, I got a bonus action. Bonus action, hi. Uh, <laughs> no. bonus action like kind of uh, I guess look at Eclipse see what their how their body language is yeah she kind of is just looking like let's go of this creature and is looking at it bleed out on the ground like she's seen it... some shit before okay cool uh, uh, then he'll uh, kind of do like an an elbow like check not like a not like a not like a in a violent way but like almost like nudge push type of way with a nod and then head towards the door all right cool yeah the trap door that you're sitting on top of previously yeah. cool avon you're inside the thing's mouth as it's like chewing on you and you're grappled and restrained I'm really sorry to bore you, darling, but, uh, is, oh, first off, actually, uh, for spiritual weapon, yeah. do I have to roll to see if it's still up? No. Okay, It's not so, concentration. Okay. Bless! Oh my god! Uh, so, as she's being chewed on, uh, Bonus action, the spiritual weapon's gonna yeah. bap them again. Bap, bap. Bap, bap. Bap. Please bap. Bap. Please bap well. Hit it. Uh, a 21 Hits. to hit? Yep. Come on, do the good bap, bap for me. Do good damage for me. Uh, nine damage. Okay. And then, as Yvonne can kind of feel the. Yeah. From, like, the cat and nine tails, she just goes, I hate to tell you this, but I'm really not into war. <laughs> and she takes her hand and just kind of grabs onto part of it as it's, like, pushing more mm -hmm. and more into the thing. And she is going to cast... Um, I already inf know. Yep. Inflict wounds at the fifth level. <laughs> right. Uh, with disadvantage because you're restrained. Oh. Melee spell attack. You know mm. what? We're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. No, 15. 15 just hits. Yes! Nice. Oh. No! Yeah. Come on. Oh, Give it's all, all attack rolls have disadvantage roll. Give me some Restrained good damage. range, too. Yeah. 15 necrotic damage. Nice. Cool. Oh, necrotic? Cool. Yep. Does it... Oh no! Oh it's, no! It, I, you can't see because you're inside its mouth, but it kind of vomits up blood a little bit, and now you're slick with blood. Yeah, she's just being covered in bodily fluids. Oh great! <laughs> um, but did it feel like it like hurt it, or just kind of like nah? It vomited up blood on you. So I'll say they There's did your not enjoy that. That's good context. It's a good time, and uh, yeah, you damage. Yes. If that was a crit, that would have been gross. Uh, I know. Anything else? Action bonus um, action. You're currently grappled and restrained, so you have no movement. And I can't get out of the grapple because I cast a spell, correct? Correct. It's an action to try to break out of a grapple. And you have disadvantage while grappled by a mimic, basically. Okie dokie or choky. Cool. Uh, I think, yeah, all I can do is get choked back right now. Alrighty. Coin. Right. Fighting the weird little bloatling on the ground. While you're up in the air. Uh, 
yeah, no, while I'm up in the air, um... Is that that button? Oh, man. It's um, looking hurt. Make... Yeah, it's looking hurt. Um... Alright, I'm gonna take the first attack from up in the air. Yep. Do that attack again. Here it comes, coming for you. It's a 31 hit? Oh, of course. Yeah, okay. Coming for you with a 31. And now I'm gonna do some damage. That's 15 damage. Yep. It's looking I gotta ask you, very hurt now. All right, I gotta ask you a question, though. Yeah. My guy. Now, does half speed apply at the beginning of a turn or like okay so here's the thing I'm a character yeah. who's gonna take care of 10 speed gone yeah well, I hit you I done slashing damage just now yeah you're losing 10 speed yeah if I bing bang knock you on the ground with my shield yeah are you cutting half of that in half just to get up yeah basically Okay, so someone getting up after an attack from coin where they've been hit... It's going to be rough for them. It's its going to be... They're going to limp along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you for clearing that up. I'm just trying to figure just out... Just half movement to that. get up, so if your movement speed's reduced by 10 feet, half of that to get up. Yeah. Christ, they're limping. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to use a level one uh, smite on that sure. attack. So that's 15 plus... Uh, Poor little oh, bullet shoot. Lane. Sorry. That's 2d8. So that's 1d8. And then here's the other d8 coming in. Oof. Um, right now. Oof. So that is 15 plus 9 is 24 damage. Nice. Yeah, this thing's looking hurt. Much right, hurt. Much more. It's just, yeah, it's like standing in a puddle of its own curdled oh shit sorry, sorry. I, I, I i used attack damage i'm trying just to attack it right now sorry no worries. That, that's that's damage not the everybody's attack. fighting something gross and flitz gets to fight creepy toys yeah so here's the attack roll total of 30 oh of course here's the damage on the first initial slash 16 oh how do you kill the bloatling um so <clears throat> uh so the bloatling is uh, 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 the bloatling is probably going sure yeah like you know like it definitely is bad bagpipes um You're like a bagpipe instead of bagpipes got a hole in it uh so then coin is going to uh, whip and pop part of the head as it's inflated so you get like that perfect so it's going to be letting off some air and then he's going to whip again like wrap the blades around it and then just pull back as he's wont to do but as he pulls back he says shus uh, hudenkaza which is cottage cheese for those of you who don't speak German. <laughs> and speaking of cottage cheese, as you kill this thing, imagine a water balloon full of cottage cheese popping. Sexy. And just, just sprays. It coats. There's so much like force behind the. That okay. the wall, ceiling, floor, and you are covered in cottage cheese, basically. I'm gonna put up the shield at least okay. over coins, like face. face to like at least face to probably chest. Okay, everything is... else not covered by the shield is coated in curdled cottage cheese blood so then the uh oh uh, ooh i love Rowdy. like like so like a real thick zit gross yeah oh yeah nasty what and uh, you also hear loud? the two the, the three doors in this room unlock the two behind you that lead out of the kitchen and then the door leads to the back yard just you'll hear all three go t -t 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 unlock uh coin's gonna go out the two into the house okay uh, so what's what's distance from I'm up in the ceiling so probably like, am I 15 feet to the door? Uh, yeah, probably. I'm gonna yeah f go towards the door, 
and then as loud as I can, like, say, Ali Ali Oxen Free! Like, just, yep. like, trying to scream out to everybody. Uh, I'm trying to find somebody. Nobody hears it, and as you fly with the room, roll me a d12. Hell yeah. Here's that d12. I'm going to roll it. The numbers the change table. every hour of why, where these numbers lead you in the house. Love it. Oh, by the way, I freaking love the characterization that you just did, Caleb, where Coin uses like his uh, draconic uh, language when no one else is around, because that just seems natural, right? Like he's just, he's almost it... purely draconic. Well, when no one else is around, but he speaks in common out of courtesy. <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, just so Eden. cool. So what'd you roll? Zeden. Uh seven. Seven. You fly through the doors, which you expect would lead into like the landing, the room, foyer, like the sitting a, room, a, a, something. Yeah. You come into a dark chamber. Everything screaming and on fire, and a massive pit fiend just <laughs> standing in the center of the room. <laughs> Free action, shit your pants. Uh, hold on, what, uh, so you, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Sam. Yeah. Did you describe the pit fiend? So, so you, there were chains underneath the skin that helped press out and make the pit fiend. It was more like that. Just that was more just like Carnifex taking over Henry's body, oh, and then okay. he just kind of turned red and then just fully polymorphed into the. So he's full pit fiend. Oh, okay. So this is I don't I won't so you know see, what this you is. You see, CR twenty mm -hmm. devil. Uh. What? Some tuffle. <laughs> yeah, Hendrix, you hear a voice behind you, and you see coin kind of hovering in the air, covered in like cottage cheese in places. Yeah, just uh, probably like yeah, probably hip to toe cottage cheese, but just mm -hmm. like. Oh, hello, coin. I don't know. Is there a listen check? Uh, no, I think we'll leave it there for the time being. Um, yeah. Back to... Hip to toe. Hip to toe and cottage cheese. Back to <laughs> the mimic and Vaughn. It's going gonna, it's gonna, to... It does not like the inflict wounds. So you can hear it start to retch and gag. As it sprays, Come on, spitters are quitters. As it sprays caustic acid in a thirty-foot cone, and I need you to make a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage because you're restrained. It's fine. Oh, inside of it? Partially. Oh, okay. But okay. restrained, you have disadvantage on dexterity. Like you're save. eating a cheeseburger and you throw up, but you're still eating it. Yeah. <laughs> No! Oh, oh, no. God. oh no! Three? That stinks. Oh, <laughs> you take 24 acid damage. <laughs> and uh, you're blinded until the end of your next turn. As it starts to, like, burn your eyes. Like, tss. Okay. That's not the good type of pain. Mm -mm. Do you have. Uh, are you wearing magical armor? Uh, yes. Are you sure? It's adamantine. Okay. Wait, isn't adamantine armor magical? Or yes, is it well, that's why I asked. Um, oh, okay. Cool. You're fine then. Your armor doesn't melt away. Yeah, bitch, it better not hide. Be like, um, oh, I'm dead. Flitz, you're gonna see one of the creepy puppets who survived the 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 you know the thing he did. One of the porcelain dolls, the only porcelain doll left. It's gonna look up at you, scream, and lunge for your face. <laughs> So there's one with the needle currently embedded in your shin, scraping on the shin bone. That one died. I believe that one died. Yes, that one died. Uh, this one is going to lunge for your face, and it's going to go for the eyes with the needle. Like that scene in Dead Space 2. Anyone's there? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Nine. It, for fun, it pierces the eyelid, but doesn't deal any damage. Cause it's just your eyelid, right? Cool. Uh, the slimes that I forgot to roll for from the Fiora last turn. Yeah. Also means 
Oh, I think coins immune to frightened now. Um, nine minus three, eighteen minus three. Nope. Oh, like, they can't make it. It's a DC twenty one. They're just oozing away. Mm -hmm. uh, flits. Do I need to make a roll if I'm in the room? It actually says a hostile creature. Hostile. A creature. Well, actually, so it right depends on. on if you're hostile to. We'll me. find. We'll find out. Yeah. So okay. flits. Uh, there's one of those. There's a porcelain doll on your face trying to stab you in the eye with a needle. One of the punching Judy's that stabbed you in the shin. That one is still alive. It's needle like poking and scraping on your shin bone every time you move. What are you doing? It's your turn. They're all within melee now, though. The surviving. The three that are left are all within melee. I think you might be muted. Cannot hear flits. You can't hear you, man. Nothing. Hello. Hello. Oh, there we yeah, we're good. We got you, bud. Um, and he'll close his arms together, and as he does, he'll turn into mist, and he'll appear at the door again. <laughs> 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 okay. As a bonus action. Okay. Um, so they so all the like are no longer clinging to his you. One eyelid, and the one that was on his shin just drop. Okay. Um, for fun, the needle's still stuck in your eye. Uh... <laughs> Um, and he just watches it regrows out of the palm of the thing. Um, he so you will... got like a you got like a tiny little like like a little pin. Close. Um, he'll leave it in. He'll just leave it at the eye closed. Um, but he'll grab three motes of air and he'll foo, 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 Eldritch blast. Yep. One for each. Yep. So for the one that he already injured. Mm hmm. Twenty four to hit. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, well, that's not bad. Uh, six force damage. All right, that one's still up. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it's going to be because of my elemental damage. So, uh, it'll be actually 11. Okay. Six, it's still up, but barely. Okay, next one. Uh, 22 to hit. Yep. Uh, eight damage for that one. Sure. Yeah. Natural one's not gonna do it. So that is. Don't like an elephant. All right. Um. <laughs> anything else? Misty step. Bonus action. Eldritch blast action. <laughs> no, that's it. Help! He's gonna scream at the door. All right. Let me ball. roll some dice. No one hears it. Oh. <laughs> uh, the punching Judies are gonna. <laughs> Crawl fast towards you again and go for needle stabs. <laughs> uh, the first note. Nope. Uh, the slimes are going to keep getting away as far as they can from the fear aura. Mm -hmm. Bringing us back to Pit Fiend Henry. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Carnifex is just going to turn and look at Coin and just... Hello, coin. Uh, it's me, Henry Vex. Sorry about the face. I uh, thought I would let loose a little since I was alone. But I'll stop fireballing the room since you'll get, you're here. And he's just going to make his way over closer to whichever the nearest slime is. Uh, within like 10 feet. Yeah, just there's like two steps. <laughs> and uh, he's going to turn and he's going to... Uh, he doesn't. Uh, when you transform, you don't get the weapon the demon you do devil not, comes correct. with, right? Yeah. So I don't get the mace. No. So he'll just make three attacks then: uh, bite, <laughs> tail, and claw. Sounds good. Doesn't have the yeah, fourth sorry. mace attack. Yeah, he doesn't have the fourth mace attack. Yeah. Um, so he'll start by just whipping the tail at it. We're gonna start there. Okay. Actually, so... you know what? Hmm. Henry manifests chains. Do you want to manifest the chains into a mace? Ooh, I mean, if if you're cool with it. I mean, yeah. All right, cool. Then he'll start with the mace. Just cool. Just, yeah, That's just chain so, mace it, made of chains. Just it fits so insane. well. Just 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 Sauron's mace. Exactly. Just, yeah. Bam. This mace that's uh, probably like 15 feet long. It's it's 10 feet. Long. It's a 10 oh, foot it's reach. 10, 10 feet long then. Okay. Yeah. So big. Uh, okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't roll directly from a monster stat block. Only through the DM yeah. in the county. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, okay, so 15 plus, that's a 29 to hit. 
One of these slimes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's 2d6 plus 8 bludgeoning. Uh, okay, so that's uh, 16 bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then... One, two, three, four, These five, six. These are all considered magical because you're a yep. big fiend. And 20 fire damage on that one. Mm -hmm. That one's looking hurt is the best way to gonna describe it. Now he's going to turn around and whip that one with the tail. Sounds good. Which is the same attack There's probably is. no way you can miss with this. It's a 30, 32 to hit. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh. Slimes have like an AC of 8, so. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. all right. Uh, 3d8 plus, or 3d10 plus 8 bludgeoning damage. Uh, okay, 19 plus 8. 27 bludgeoning damage from the tail. That slime just explodes. God damn. Alright, that was attack number 2. Attack number 3 is gonna be the claw. He's gonna just stomp his way over to the next one and claw yep. it and that one. Um. So much to keep track of. All of these are different die. Oh, that's only a seven, so it's a twenty-one to hit. Of course. And then two D eight plus eight. The only way you're missing is in that one. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Uh nineteen slashing damage to that one. Perfect. That one's looking hurt now. Um What? That one's looking hurt. Okay. Uh and then I don't I are I do not know if I know if slimes are immune to poison or not. Uh, uh they might be. You don't know. They might be. I just don't uh -huh. know, but Henry would know. Yeah. So Henry's gonna bite the bite that one then. Okay, cool. Go for it. <laughs> All right. just, uh, it's like a little bit gusher. of a. Oh, that's a nat one though. <laughs> oh. Okay. That one actually does. Uh, as you bite into it, they do appear to be immune to poison damage. Oh, okay, cool. You learn that as you bite into okay. it because they taste cool. like shit. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that that avoids the six d six poison damage that it would take yeah. at the start of each of its turns if I hit with that bite. It's like 6D6. a canned. It's like a a canned habanero margarita. Uh, basically. <laughs> that's a. Um, that's, all right. That's anything else for? Like. What flavor are these fines? Anything. Uh, <laughs> basically, red wine vinegar because the red wine has gone off. Uh, anything <laughs> else for uh, Henrifex? Good. Uh, good. nope. That's it. That's that's everything he's got. All right. Eclipse. You're up in the uh, attic with Druck, the door, this trap door thing. You heard a locking, un it unlocked. Okay. Um, Druck is currently sitting on top of it. Druck's sitting I'm going to look at Druck and, like, point at the door and then wait for him to move off of it. Oh, um, <laughs> I, 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 I moved towards it, and I, uh, I probably wouldn't have stood on top okay, of you're it. Okay, you're but... right beside it then. Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna. Wait, wait. You could just straddle it, and you could just like cannonball underneath. It. <laughs> <laughs> Humongous legs. He's yeah. So. Cool. Please, please. I'm a married woman. Okay. Um... So do you do you open it? Hey, Bjork snass. Uh no, that was oh, three days. That was annulled. Do you yeah. do you open it though? Uh, I'm gonna open it very slowly. Okay, roll d twelve. Oh shit. <laughs> God, Eclipse is back on her shit. Mm -hmm. That rolled around for a long time. That's a nine. Nine. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so yeah, the stairs go down, but into darkness. Mm, Star Trek Two. Um, Great movie. <laughs> and if anyone has, if you, uh, you have both have dark vision, so you can see it, they just go straight down to a door. No corridor, yeah. or nothing. Just straight down to a door. Um, can I smell any cottage cheese or nope. fire? <laughs> <laughs> or cooking cottage you cheese? You don't smell any no? Great. Oh, we're a rat. Part of me hates that. Um, uh, I'm gonna... Uh, so I use my action to open the door, no, right? No, that's part of your movement thing. Okay, sweet. Um, I'm going to use my action to summon my unseen servant. Okay. Um, okay. And then I forgot what I named my servant. I had a name for him at some point. It's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I think in honor of Bjork's knife, this unseen servant Rest is peace, named. Yeah, R.I.P. is uh, okay. uh, Bjork's Ness. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, also in honor of the awful Smash character that everyone loves and hates. Uh, <laughs> Ness? Uh, yeah, Ness. Alright, so <clears throat> you're going to get your unseen um, servant to open the door? 
Uh, no, I'm still going to open the door, but I'm going to cast Unseen Servant and send Bjork's Nest uh, down into the hallway to start opening doors. Oh, there is no the hallway. The, the, the stairs go straight oh, down just... to a door. Okay. House then I'm going to have it. Okay. I'm going to have him go ahead 30 feet and then follow behind him 30 feet. Okay. So the stairs only go down like 10 feet right to a door. Okay. So then I'm going to have him try the door okay. and try to open it. <laughs> and mouth opens on that door and flits. From the door behind you, you hear a weird noise, but on the other side, like a, <laughs> like a gurgling, and it's going to spit a globule of phlegm at the creature it can see at Eclipse. So I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, dex save. Do I? Oh, I can use evasion on this. Um, but that is a 22. Yeah, it just kind of sails behind you, starts sailing towards Druck, Druck and Duck and Duck in time as it just goes and hits the ceiling. I think there's a mimic down there. And then the mouth just goes back into the door. Uh, and I'm just going to keep holding the trapper open with Druck's nest. Okay. Uh, hanging out. Perfect. Druck. Uh, right as that happens, uh, or while that's happening, Druck is going to look back towards his mimic body that he put down. Yeah, it's melted into the floor. Okay, and is there anything left nope. over that might... Okay, okay, so there's no... There's no... Nothing left. Uh, interesting items nope. or anything that might be useful. Okay, nope. cool. Cursory glance. Figured should happen. Um... Uh, so then everything plays out. The spittle. Uh, Druck will do a little hop skip out of, out of surprise. Um, aim down there and use his crossbow on the door. Okay. Uh, Does Druck's yeah. count for a sneak attack? No, it's no sneak attack on this one. Yeah, I'm... I mean, we'll see what's going on. Oh, you'll see why um, there's no sneak attack on this one. Yeah. Um, but I will try to use... I think I have to say it before I fire, so... Uh, let, me, let me look at my notes, actually. Oh, yeah, no, you do get sneak attack on this. Okay. Um, I'm going to use one of the charges, I think. That's what causes the lightning to arc out, so it would hit Eclipse. Oh, okay. Right. It doesn't actually do anything that cool other than paralyze it, which isn't that great. So then I won't use one of the charges. Yeah, that's cool. I need to remember what that thing does, because it, it's uh, the... Yeah. It's a, it's a couple blocks of text. Uh, okay, so I'll just do a little attack on it. That's okay. an 18 to hit. 18. Tell inspire. Hits. Cool. Uh, and I will... What's, what kind of D is the damage for that? D6. D6. I will roll an extra only a D6. Little hey, that's cool. A D6 is a D6, goddammit. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to destroy this uh, this thing with all that I have. Uh, oh man, I forgot to roll the 2d6 lightning damage that's extra on these the last time I ran this. Alright, so we'll do this. Uh, we'll do this. Uh, so 7, 30, that's 38 plus 2d6. 38 plus 8, that's 46. 46. Um, yeah, 46 lightning damage. Alrighty. Flitz, on your side of the door, you hear a <clears throat> as it manifests, and I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as it spits acid at you. At me? Yeah. Oh no. One random creature within side of the door. So. Is that dex? Yes, please. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. So, oh, it's half damage. I haven't been doing that because the rogues have evasion. So actually, you don't, you get to have the 9d6 plus 1 in half. Yay! <laughs> Yay me! Uh, that's 9d6 plus 1, 27 acid damage, but reduced to half. Holy shit. So you, Flip, only you, you only take... 13. 
and then it back into the door. Cool. Uh, yeah, Avon. You're inside this thing. You're blinded as the acid has kind of singed your eyeballs. You're grappled and restrained. Uh, so all your attacks, are, all, everything you do right now is disadvantaged because you're blinded. Uh, knowing the spiritual weapon still there, uh, would that be a disadvantage? Or no, it still because it's, it's a separate thing. Okay, thank God. Uh, so, bonus action still, uh, we're just keeping up with the spiritual weapon at the yep. moment. Go for it. Bap it again with those hedges. Bip -de -bip -de -bip -de oh, no. Oh, 15. Hits. Oh, boy. This is getting a little dicey. 11 damage. Yep. Uh. <clears throat> and then. Oh, I want. I think. I, I, I might just try. I might try to end it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Please work. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. She just kind of. She sighs and she just goes. Mm. I hope you like breastplate because you're going to choke on me. And she's going to cast another fifth level uh, inflict wound. Disadvantage because blinded and restrained. Yep. You know what? That's valid. Because your eyes are basically like melting in their sockets. 16 at disadvantage. Hits. Okay, okay. Come on! Forty-six necrotic damage. Okay. As you cast inflict wounds on it from the inside, you feel all of its like muscle control fail, and you just whoop. You fall into its mouth basically. But it's dead, as you're just kind of inside of it. <clears throat> and you hear your door unlock. Can I crawl out of it? Yeah, half movement. Yeah. Yvonne. The just, walk of shame. Just... just <laughs> Two arms just kind of like spread out through the mouth, and they just like pick themselves up. And you watch one just, and then you watch as it melts into the floor as you crawl out. It just shakes some of the goo off her whip, and turns towards the door. And if it's like five feet away from her, it's it's like right behind the mimic. Yeah, it's part of your movement to do. And would it be a uh, and uh, open the door. It's part of your movement to open. It's part of your movement to yeah. open a door and go through it. Yeah. All right. D twelve. Where? Where are we gonna go, everybody? That's a six. Six. Okay. Like I said, the rooms. I don't like the that. rooms change every so often. Oh, there was also a dumb waiter. I forgot to. Yeah, there was a dumb waiter too. Nah, I want to know why the door unlocked. Okay, so you open the door, and you step out into... A broom closet. And oh. the door closes behind you. Anytime anyone's gone into a different room, like through yeah. the weird teleportation house yeah. stuff, the door closes behind you. So the trap door also... So you're in a closet now. Broom closet, five feet diameter, five feet high. A couple brooms in here. I'd open it if I could, but I don't think I can. You can, I on, you, you, you can do that on your next turn. Okay, yeah, cool beans. Cool. Coin! You see Pit Fiend Henry just beating the shit out of some slimes. All right, so how many slimes are left in this room? Three, uh, right? Three. On the ceiling and on the walls, just like <laughs> crawling the away. Ceiling, they're moving away he... from Henry, so they're with they're out of your reach at this point. Wait, how big is this room? 
40 ish and Henry's been Henry has a fear aura so it's every time the slime's turn has started they've been inching away from Henry yeah. so they're on the other side of the room which is also filling with smoke and burning just and we drop one fireball exactly a lot of alcohol in here uh, and every, other uh, things yeah. So coin is going to fly up right next to this pit fiend's shoulder. Mm -hmm. You're two size categories different. You could just actually ride on his shoulder. Oh no! Absolutely no! No, that that is 100%. He's going to fly up to the shoulder of this pit fiend and and whisper, "If you fuck me on this, I will just." Winds of Baham, the, the platinum wings, just pain, lots of pain, and then just do another like a pirouette mm -hmm. on top of that shoulder, and just whip uh, the 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 farthest away, probably within fifteen feet yeah. still, but reasonably far away. Yeah, gonna get that last slime. All right, you're gonna go for like get, get, the, yeah. There's three total. Are you gonna go for the one that's hurt the most? Oh, I'm. Uh, you know, I'm gonna pick off the sick one. Okay, that, that was that's what I mean. that's, that's gonna be one of the ones on the ceiling. So directly above you, basically. Beautiful. I'm gonna hit that one that's directly above me. Uh, is his reach within five within five feet of that one? Who? I'm trying to ascertain if I have advantage on this hit. Uh, or if it's a straight roll. Uh, yeah. Because Henry's basically like grinding up on the ceiling. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Thank you, sir. So, yeah, you get pack tactics on this one. Thank you. Henry's filling the room. <laughs> uh, thirty-one. That hits. All right. Um, and that is a twelve plus a level one. Okay. Uh, so that is uh. An eight. All right. So twenty total. That on one's that looking. Slime. A, it's hard to tell if a slime's looking hurt, but like pieces of it are falling off, like splatting on the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing on that one again just to just to see if I can go for it. Dispatch it. Uh, sorry, that's one roll plus. This is the other roll because of pack tactics. You only need to roll for you. You only need to roll that one to miss. So. Oh, you as well, Christ. yeah. Christ, because they got an eight, eight armor class. Oh. 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 Oozes don't have a lot of armor class because they're oozes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm rolling plus thirteen, so there's no way for me to miss. But I'm just trying to get that nat twenty. Only on an um, one, yeah. So that is a twelve damage. Okay. Plus a level one smite. Sure. Is another 11 radiant damage. Oh yeah, that one just turns into bubbling, boiling goo and just falls on top nice. of Henry Fex uh, and just... Nice. Nice. Alright, and then... Nice. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the nice is is certainly reassuring. Coin is still going to be a little bit skeptical, but uh, going to restock his uh, level 2 spell slot. Okay, cool. Uh that he's got with his bonus action. Alrighty. Cool. Um, cool. And he's and he's going to stay pirouetted sure. like so there's like a toe on the shoulder muscle of this pit fiend. Perfect. Mm -hmm. so, like right on the top of the, the, the delta like the right on the top there just there's a, a crouched like I don't know what the the radiant version of feral is sure but it's mm -hmm. that. the same looking like kind of enlightened enlightened <laughs> gremlin mode yeah oh gross but yes um <laughs> i say gross because i've heard some yeah monstrous yeah, yeah, yeah 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 um so flits the porcelain doll who stab who, whose needle is still one of its needles is like in your eyelid it's gonna frown at you like a child's upset, like a creepy little, like, sad frown. And then it's gonna drop, it's gonna, like, just sprint at you as fast as possible. 
like pumping the arms and legs as it runs. Kind of like Meg from or Megan from that new movie, and yeah. then uh, it's gonna Ugh. it's gonna come at you with the needle. Going f- going for like up the nostril. Give me your brain, and then uh, fuck you. Nine to hit. No. This is the one you. This is the one that's like barely holding on. It's like falling apart. <laughs> yeah. Um. That's gonna bring it back to you. Yeah, go for it. You keep um, the door behind you opened up, spit acid at you. Uh, this one is not like on your face, trying to get its needle up your nose. Uh, the punching Judies are like trying to get to you. Okay, he's gonna jump over the one that just came at him. And he's gonna try to run past it to get. Oh, she's on your face, but yeah, she falls off because she's not grappling or anything. Yeah, attack of opportunity because he's gonna try to go. Oh yeah, of them. course range so as she's yeah. falling this one's falling she's gonna try to like grab onto your shoulders and just start like stabbing you between like the vertebrae on your neck like just emergency surgery and just start <laughs> try stabbing you in the neck uh for a 14 and then you see a poof as they like land on their feet on the floor emergency surgery <laughs> this so much um he is going to uh bonus uh. action elemental gift so he as he's running he his feet he jumps up the wind catches him and he flies up to like the corner of the room yeah and he grabs some air and he just starts throwing him at the three go for it he's gonna throw one at the one that just uh try to do emergency surgery yeah this like porcelain doll dressed like a bride hit? 17 to hit hits uh that is 13 oh just explodes pieces. into pieces and he'll look to the other two it's a little crazy in his eyes and he just he's screaming ah! as he throws the other two and you roll a d100 <laughs> he wants help yeah no one hears uh, that 18 18 to hit yep for 15 force damage all right, are you going after the one who's hurt or the one who's not? Um, I'm going after all of them, so one for each. Okay, cool. So how much damage, sorry? Fifteen. That one looks real bad all of a sudden. And now you're now fighting the Punching Judy dolls. But that one looks bad. He'll go for that it, one again, though. Okay. Wasn't that bad. Uh, 26 to hit. Oh, yeah, of course. For another 15. That one also falls into tatters because it's a Punching Judy doll. And then, as all, each of these ones have died, they also, like, merge into the floor and are gone. Cool. So you've killed seven of the eight. Okay. That's it for me. Just climbing the kill tracker chart. Alrighty. The other one, the other Punching Judy doll is going to look at you and focus and sprout little tiny feet. Just cause, yeah. like wet newborn feet almost, <laughs> like fleshy feet, and it's gonna right. pitter patter towards you really fast. Just <laughs> and then it's gonna leap and try to just do like a bunch of like stabs in your belly. Well, only one stab, but oh, you're up in the air. I am. It's just gonna scream at you. Screaming back. Actually, you no, know, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Let it grow wings. Okay. One of them no, no, no. throws fuck the it. other one. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> fuck it. It's going to look around and grab like one of those cube block toys that kids play with. <laughs> grab that and just go, yeah! <laughs> and try to throw it at you with an improvised attack. D20 plus two. Uh... <laughs> 19 to hit. <laughs> that hits. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think he would shield for that. One, one damage. <laughs> As it just hits you in the head. <laughs> oh shit! Cool. Uh, cool. That's gonna bring us to the slimes that are within reach. Yeah, they're gonna attack Coin. They can't go and they can't move anywhere else. Well, so they do get a they get a new save at the beginning of each turn. Actually, oh, I didn't I forgot know that. to mention. Yeah, sorry. I think they can't pass. They can't though. pass anyway. But so it doesn't actually matter. And they can't get they can't move out of the way because you're they can't because they have to move closer to get out of the way. 
Yeah. They have nowhere else to flee. They're just stuck where yeah. they are. They're just stuck, frightened. Yeah. So I think I think they have disadvantage on attacks they do. too. Isn't that what frightened? Uh, as long does? as yeah. the creature, yeah, as long as the target of their fear is in their line of sight. Yeah. So one is going to attack coin. One's going to attack Henrifex. Oh, like, okay. Like you're backing these scared creatures into a corner and like this is <laughs> yeah. all I got. Yeah. Yep. Uh, how will it reach me though? They got they got reach. Right on. Right on. Thank yeah. you. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. Big long stretchy tendrils on for, the walls for uh, Henrifex. That's a dirty twenty to hit. Or, yeah, it's a twenty to hit. Was that with disadvantage? No, it wasn't. Thank you. That's a dirty twenty to hit with disadvantage. Oh, okay. Uh, that will hit. Uh, that will hit the pit fiend. That wouldn't have hit Henry uh, without. Wow. The pit fiend. Loser. All right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, um, what a loser so 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 coin fiend's reaction is going to actually add five uh, plus to his armor because I can use a reaction. Uh, with the wing spells and add armor, uh, it's a, a wing comes it out uh, for coin. It's this beautiful uh, uh, silvery wing that comes out from the metallic blessing and gives you plus five to uh, Henrifex's AC. Cool. Mark off a use of that. So yep, your AC becomes whatever it is. So yeah, that misses. So this wing comes out as it comes out and it just. So what's Henry's AC? Well, thank you. So what's Henry's AC? And that goes. That's only for one attack. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, Henry Fex's AC is nineteen. Okay. Cool. And the other one's gonna attack Coin. Come on, come get some. Uh, twenty-one to hit. Mm. Misses because you got AC twenty-two. And Coin, Coin's other other wing, or maybe just the shield, just. <laughs> push. Oh, lays right. it the other way. Cool. That's them then. Henry, two slimes left. <laughs> hey, Bowser. Yeah, okay, so. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> just, just mace first. Go for it. All right. That is, I mean, I can do this on the same page, can't I? I can actually look at it. There we go. I was doing this all wrong. Oh, no, that closes that still. Okay. Mace is a plus 14. Uh, Yes, so that's a twenty-one to hit. Of course. So that uh, the mace is two d six plus eight for the bludgeoning. So that's going to be seventeen bludgeoning damage. Yep. And sixty-six fire damage. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, twenty-one fire damage. Oh hell yeah, that one's looking bad. All right. Uh, it's gonna get the claw actually for the second attack, so it's sure. just like mace claw. Yep. So another plus fourteen to hit. Not a net one. It's a four, but that's gonna be an eighteen to hit. Hits. All right. So claws two d eight plus fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Cr twenty. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be sixteen more more slashing damage. That's what you needed. So you slash through this basically ceiling jelly. <laughs> Yeah, just just splatter it into the wall. Yeah, the opposite wall. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, there's one left. And the, all right, cool. Uh, bite. Okay, you bite into the jelly, and mm, since your head's basically right. scraping the ceiling, you just need to look up and go. Not one on the bite again. Wow. Can't hit with the bite. It's because you're, you're basically <laughs> scraping the ceiling. Yeah, he's having a hard time. Uh, but then he's gonna turn around and wha smack it with his tail. All right. So many attacks. Yeah, they're great. Pit Fiend. That's a 31 to hit. Just hits. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Nasty. Okay. You most Three. gracious DM. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, plus a 21 bludgeoning damage with the tail. Yeah. Oh, God. They're so... Do they have to make a strength save? For... I don't think so. Oh, they're, no. They're slimes, oozes are immune to prone anyway, so it's... It doesn't... Yeah, none of these... Do, the only thing that actually does anything extra is the bite with the poison. Cool. Mm. Uh, that brings us to Eclipse. You're standing in front of this door at the bottom of the stairs. Muted. Thank you. Um, gonna go with my tried and true method of stab it really good. Stab the door. <laughs> I'm gonna stab I mean, it's the been door. spitting shit at us. Fuck yeah. that door. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fuck the door. Uh, that's a 17 plus 14 to hit. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. Um, so sneak attack or no? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, but every time you okay. hit it or try to interact with it, it does spit acid. 
Just so you know. At a random creature, so on either side of the door, so we'll see. I mean, it's it's either spit at or get spit on. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, is there a thing I can do with Life that? Life motto right there. You get, you get, get at? Or, uh, um, I'm also going to add... Actually, do I want to? No, I'm going to save. I'm going to save some of my inspirations. Alright. 6, 12, 18... This is the worst of all. Great. Um, 18 plus 6 is 24 plus 8 is 30 piercing damage. Yep. Um, and then I'm going to bonus action, short sort of life stealing. Yep. So you don't get the modifier on that damage roll unless you have that one. I do because I'm a, I have the yeah. all right. dual weapon, uh, yep. dual, dual feet. Dual wielder. Yep. Um, so that's a twenty-three to hit. That hits. Um, and that's one d six plus five. That yep. dual wielder feat is just so eclipse. <laughs> Does the feat actually? Oh, yeah. I thought that was the fighting style that gave you the bonus. It's on... the feat. It's is the feat too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that is ten more piercing damage. All right. You stab into the door. Mm-hmm. It doesn't spit back. Oh, still I'm very, sorry, still, still very much a door. Nothing manifests on either side, but it's still very much a door. Can I use my movement to try to open it? Still locked. Damn it! Uh, I'm gonna kind of like move out of the way so Druk can get a decent shot off. It's on it's it. hard to move out of the way because you're in a very narrow like stair yeah. stairwell. So you're kind of um, like. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm gonna go prone. Actually. Okay. To drop prone. Yeah. Cool beans. Is that everything for you? Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. Let's go with that. <laughs> That's gonna bring us to Druk. Uh, so, I mean, Druk does lightning damage. That's not kinetic. I don't think that would like do much against a door. Um, so Druk is gonna kind of you know, put the crossbow over her shoulder and then see that Eclipse has gone prone and just kind of take the stairs mm -hmm. and use that as leverage to dig, 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 and then just throw his shoulder into this locked right. door to try to bust it open. Athletics check. All right. Uh, that is... 16. <laughs> Not 8, 16. You just hit the door. Okay. Flits. You hear a <laughs> in the door. Against yeah. the door. Alright, so it's your action to do that. To slam into the door. Anything else? Anything else for Druk? Uh... Uh, that was my action. Yep. Uh, I mean, nah. I mean, can I do anything else? No. Uh, I can like Probably maybe not. talk to the door. Listen, do you like to play rough? How are we doing this? Open up, stupid door. So it doesn't need that. Off, I door troubles. Alrighty, Avon, you stepped out of the bedroom and ended up in a broom closet. Like cramped in a broom closet, because it's like five feet, five feet. Is this the type of broom closet that has like the little slats that you can that like light comes into, or is it just like straight door? Straight door. This is a nothing room. Yeah, Yvonne is going to uh, reach for whatever door handle there is there, and pop that sucker open. Dexterity saving throw as the floor opens up beneath you. <laughs> oh, was not okay. Oh, I don't like that, but okay. So just, oh, <laughs> actually, yeah. Oh, this basically shit. lets you to try to like open the door and get out because the entire floor just collapses and there's nothing to stand on. Ooh, Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> and you fall down. My wings. I try to start flapping, flying okay. a little uh, bit. Give me a dexterity saving throw to get you get your wings out in time. 
I doubt it, but uh. In a very narrow shaft. Nat yeah. 20 for a 22. Okay. Hey! You get the wings out, and you're currently hovering in the middle of this shaft. Up is just darkness, down, darkness. I'm used to being in tight spaces. This is fine. Uh, Good. With my dark vision. Uh, darkness above, darkness below. Even after, like, your darkness vision. Your dark vision just sees darkness beyond the darkness. Uh, Yvonne is just gonna uh, slowly make their way down and just sure. see. Cool. Full movement? Look. Yeah, and they're looking around to see if there's any, like, doors or anything around as they keep going down. Nope. But you can hear... <laughs> and then screaming, like, ah! And then... <laughs> coming from down and also up. I don't like So that's your that. movement. It was your yeah, that's your movement. Yeah. Um Uh oh. This I uh oh. Uh oh. Uh you know what, kid kid, I just a uh, bonus action and Oh by the way, the spiritual weapon is in the other room. <laughs> Cause it's... teleport, yeah. That's okay. It is what it is. Uh, and I guess the equivalent of dashing, but like flying back up to try to get back up to the door. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. Just like so. Eh, let's see you fly up. Everything. You fly up thirty feet. Still darkness, and you can still hear the sounds from below. Is the door that I tried to open still there? You fly up thirty feet. And you don't see anything. Like you're still in darkness as you're flying up. All right. Coin. One who's left. <clears throat> that ooze is going to regret the day that it... Uh, from the pits it was spawned. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> uh, that's going to be just a... Oh, I, I've got some... That's going to be a, an attack at advantage. Yeah, that's uh, a rolling some some nasty dice. <laughs> Does a thirty one hit? Of course. <laughs> I know. I'm just being a goose. Um, so here comes just a just a real nasty eleven. Okay. And I'm gonna add uh, divine smite to that. Perfect. Ooh, has another eleven. That's a twenty two total. How's it looking? Looking pretty hurt. Shaky. Is it, it, does it still fit in the Jello mold, or is it a little bit it's, less? Um, it's more like uh, Jello scraps. Jello scraps, you say? Mm. <laughs> well, then I will hit this thing again. Hit him again. Do it. Doing it. Um, it's like when you're really excited about eating this Jello. Um, no, but then, then no, it... but this was a Jello. I'm sorry. This is a Jello packed in your pack for. Oh yeah. Uh, mm. Track and field day, thirty mm -hmm. to hit. Oh, of course. Track and field day. So you're out in like eighty-two degree weather, and it's like good for like outdoor sports, but it's bad for Jello. Yeah. Warm it's Jello. Like jello. It's like a Jello that has all of 14. that fruit in it, but then you eat all the fruit, and it's just like little specks left. Well, this is I'll this Jello definitely has story. this Jello definitely has a skin on it. Um, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you all a terrible story so, about fruit and jello on the break. That jello also no, just no. kind of that jello also kind of just uh also kind of just uh dies and splashes down. Mm -hmm. So twenty three as it showers <laughs> around our shoulders. Yes. Or around our faces. I look at the, the thing and I go And um the two of you here Oh, sorry, go ahead. You're saying something. I do Henrifex? Uh, yeah. All right, go ahead, go ahead and get relax a little more. Um, because he... apparently Henrifex understands all languages and gets draconic. Um, uh, okay. I think, I think Henry. With true polymorph, you, you gain the creature's languages. You wouldn't have Henry's languages as a, with true polymorph. You don't keep your own languages, really? Because you keep your intelligence stats, so it would be the languages to, that you, you get the creature's languages. Huh. Weird. Still, heard their own name. 
with yeah. Yeah. Hendra effects yeah, yeah. at the end with a Hendra question mark. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. and you did, you did answer tentatively. Context. I'm like, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but uh, you do hear the door that was up the non-existent stairs. You hear it unlock, and then you hear the double doors that are used for deliveries also unlock, and then you hear the dumb waiter unlock. Uh, coin, I, I don't know if I can open a door with an action, but it's I'm part of your fly. movement. Oh, I'm, well, I'm gonna, yeah, fly to the double door at the top of the smash stairs. So that's a single door? The double door oh, is sorry. up a ramp. A uh, single door at the top of the stairs. All right. Like, the most. I'm leaving this basement part of it. All right, T12. Right on. Rolling it on the table. I stay on the table, uh, listener. We don't uh, have a table. Because we have, a, we have the Beyond app, where on the table means us for in the Beyond app, so everyone can see. 11. 11. Yes. Ah, <laughs> piercer! 12, Sorry, we'll just say for context, long. 12 is no room change, so you stay where you are. 11, you open the door and all you hear is cacophonous laughter, sounds of pleasure, screaming, like blood-curdling death screams, oh. laughing, just a cacophony of noise of just different voices all at once as you open the door and you're looking down. It's weird because the dimensions are definitely wrong as you open it up, but you're looking down a shaft, like a dark shaft. So that took me for my movement, and I've already used my action, but that took me, what you said, about 15, 20 feet? Yeah, about that. I'm going to just do a screaming flight, the rest of my flight movement, um, another 40 feet into this okay. darkness. Yvonne, you hear someone oh. screaming from above. As coin, your dimensions kind of go. So you, the shaft looks like this, you fly in, and the dimensions go. So you're now flying downwards. Uh, question, Imp. Does my own voice add to the cacophony outside of my will? Like, I, 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 just for uh, context inside of this, like you said, there's a cacophony. As you go into it, does my voice uh, involuntarily add to the cacophony? Nope. So I'm I'm screaming at Yvonne as I go into it. Yeah, basically. Amazing. Amazing. So, so Oh lord. <laughs> uh cool. As I fly towards. Fantastic. And from where you are, you can see Yvonne coming up. Fantastic. And the door is beginning to close behind you slowly. Oh, I'm I'm so There is no way Hemrefex in Pitfiend form can fit in the shaft. Of course. Well, I mean he's got his own he's got his own cross to bear. Alright. Uh we're nearing the end of this. There's only like one creature left. Mm. Ah! Flitz! <clears throat> <laughs> it just threw a wooden toy block at you, manifested little tiny wet feet, and it's looking up at you. Getting ready to throw more toys at you. Alright, you little shit. Die! Ah! As he throws three. Go for it. I'll just last. <laughs> um, I'm just going to do them all three at him uh, 28, 16, and a 12. Uh, the first two hit. Okay, so for the first one, it... Oh, Jesus, that's max, so that's 15, plus another 5 thunder, so that's 20 damage. All right, cool. And then for the second that hit, not great, 8. Nice. It explodes into pieces, and you hear your door unlock, which also directly what? clips hears. There, so it was, yeah, where a bang came from, yeah, he, he heard, heard a boom. Then the door just unlocks. Didn't Flitz come out of a... You, you would have came up from behind. You would have basically, when you stepped into this room, you came out of that door. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Um, and there's a win boarded up window above the bed. Oh no. Oh no. But regardless, since we're out of initiative, as the last creature dies, we're going to go to break. And we'll be back in 10 minutes for more of the weird house. And two Woo. people are in the shaft. Yeah, as that door begins to close. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes or so. See you all then.
back to the creepy house. So, yeah, we're out of initiative. Uh, Flitz, you, you, you hear the door you're in. Unlock. Drucken eclipse the door you're standing in front of. Unlocks. A Vaughn and Coin are in an elevator shaft of, filled with a cacophony of... Or a shaft of, filled with a cacophony of noise. Uh, and Henry Fex, you're a pit fiend in a wine cellar, crammed into a wine cellar. Um, <laughs> as that door that Coin just went through is slowly beginning to close on its own. Okay. Uh, he went through the door door, right? Yeah. And I get the sense that none of these places go to where they're supposed to, so it really doesn't matter which door I go through. Sure. Whatever you want to do. You don't know. Yeah. Um, you said it has like cellar doors, right? Which are yeah. like so double it's a, doors. It's a ramp that goes up to a set of double doors that would be used to like bring wagons down here to drop off like wine barrels and stuff. Okay. Uh, given that those are the biggest door down here. Yeah, fair. Um, Henrifex is gonna. Uh, is this this is Carnifex. I, I should I should okay. specify this. Is, Carnifex has taken over. Henry is like unconscious and dormant in here, and Carnifex has taken full control. Perfect. Um. So this is just full on devil. Uh, he's gonna turn to those double doors. Yeah. And rather than opening them, he's just gonna fireball the doors. Okay. And just blast them open. Okay. They don't blast open. Hmm. Uh, he's gonna stalk over and just start just like just smashing at them with the mace and just clawing at them. Okay. Anything? Nope. No dents. No marks. <laughs> Wow. They're purity they're they're purely um metaphorical doors. Mm -hmm. In your mind. Door Justin question. The door Yeah. Are they door knobs? Yeah. Okay. But because this is a bedroom, this doesn't actually have a lock a child's bedroom. There is no locking mechanism on this door, but even though the door right. is open, you hear the door unlocked. But I imagine the 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 are the are the handles attached like is it like a normal house where like the hand it's like yeah. one piece? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flitz is gonna fly over and hover at the door, but he's gonna put his hand on the doorknob. Okay. And he's gonna ready a shocking grasp on the doorknob for if the doorknob turns. Perfect. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> See, I, no, it's perfect. So, hey, you so, so Henry Fex, you're <laughs> beating the shit out of this door, and everyone in the house. Man, I just got a really weird feeling of deja vu about this house. Uh, as you're all. Uh, not because of the last campaign, but like with these characters in the house, it's weird. Uh, as you're uh, banging at this door, everyone in the house hears the sound of a grandfather clock chiming. Just dong, 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 dong. But from like all around. Actually, those in the shaft don't hear it, but everybody else does. Just dong, dong. Kind of like all around, basically. There are six dongs so far. How many dongs will there be? Once in the shaft don't hear it, so Coin and Yvonne don't hear the dongs. <laughs> I hear okay. no dongs! Actually, you know what? in the cacophony of noise, you hear somebody going, <laughs> Dong! Dong! <laughs> someone just screaming dong in the shaft. Why is there someone screaming dongs? There are dongs uh, you... screaming! That you get used to that. By the way, I need the two of you to make I need the two of you to make a wisdom saving throw in the shaft. Of course. How close are we? Because I did try and Probably scream. Probably close enough. Her. Get that plus. Sure, get a plus one from coin. Yeah, why not? So that was a wisdom or wisdom, please. So, uh, how about a twelve? Oh, nice. Cool. Uh, and yeah, you don't have any eyes, so you're fine. No. Nice. Well, I mean, you don't need to do anything and differently. I have an eye. Uh. Oh yeah, so coin minus one from your wisdom save. Gross. Uh, so eight. Eight. Uh, and Dax, or not Dax, Avon, you got a... Uh, Twelve. Oh cool, both of you roll me a d8. Oh. Yo, take your, take your dirty d8. Two. I don't want it. Cool. Avon, you just hover there in the shaft with your wings not doing anything. Not speaking, just silent. And then coin D8, please. I did six. Six. You don't take any actual bonus actions and use all of your movement to move in a randomly determined direction. So up or down? Where is um, Yvonne? Down. She, she's down, so she's 
within 10 feet of me. Yeah, and all of your movement. Yeah, so I, uh, does that include bonus action or just 60? All of your movement in a randomly determined direction. So whatever your movement speed is, you're using all of it to go down. So let's do, do, do a coin flip. Uh, do you want to go odds or even on a d6? Yeah, sure. Go for it. All right. Uh, one, two, up, or one, two, three, up. Yeah, yeah. One, one, three, five, up, uh, two, four, six, down. Sure. I got you, homie. Here and it's your full movement speed in those directions. I got you, buddy. Ooh, that's a three. It's an odd. It's up. Uh, okay. The rest of my movement, so it's uh, 60 without the yep. double action. It's just 60, yep. 60 up. There we go. Cool. Everybody else in the house, yeah, Flitz, you're priming something for the door. Drunken Eclipse, you hear the door that you're sitting on uh, in front of just unlock. Uh, I stand up and turn to Drunk and say, oh, I guess it's the uh, ghost of Wayne Ofton's future came around a second time. Uh, and I'm going to go to open the door. Okay, cool. Uh, you open the door and just a shocking grasp goes off from the gnome on the other side. So Flitz, cast Shocking uh -huh. Grasp. Okay. Um, so I do the hit. Uh, it's an attack roll spell. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're, yeah, making attack, you're making an attack. You're making attack on Eclipse with shocking roll. grasp. Yeah. <laughs> of course. See, dice tell the story. A natural one. <laughs> so yeah, you open the door. You see this demol. You see this children's bedroom scattered with toys. This gnome. Like, it's just... like a carpet <laughs> shock. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Eclipse opens the door like Ooh, that so that she can like run against it as it opens. Uh, after years of having traps be triggered immediately at her, yeah. just it's just instinct to open a door and step wide. <gasps> oh, uh, hello there. Oh, the needle's still in your eyelid. Do you need some help? Yeah, yeah. What? Are you... Drug? Uh, yeah. Where... Oh, you're still here. Oh, good. We came across you first. Uh, and Drug will go over there. Uh. We heard some noises. They might have been from you. And he'll just be very still. And he'll hey. try to pull yeah, the sure. needle out. And then just throw it into the wall. Like it, like a dart. Okay. Um, it doesn't make like a weird... It makes a weird sound when it hits the wall. Kind of just like a... Wait, so do y'all... Y'all can... What's up there? Uh, it was oh, just weird. The door... Weird, uh... <laughs> door slammed shut. Okay. Well, it was a staircase, which I think was a mimic door behind it, or down at the bottom of it. Like, that yeah, door used to be a mimic. There was something that spit uh, acid at yeah, me. Yeah, that was the door. Oh, uh, great. And then right. the first room we were in, which was, I think, the attic, uh, there was this weird spider girl. Just... And yeah, then there was... she turned into drug. He pointed at some of the exploded bits of toy dolls. Yes, they they came alive. That's creepy. I think we three should try to stick together. I think we would make a really good team. Uh, obviously, try to find everyone else, but the three of us should stick together as much as possible. Um, yeah. Um, how hard are the both of you? You all right? Don't need I'm, to. I'm I'm great. Uh. I had a really good meal today. I'm okay. Uh, you're okay? You sure? You had a needle in your eye. It was... It, oh, and he'll reach down super, and he'll super pull out the needle from his shin. And throw it on the ground. Superficial. No, it's, it's, Blitz can take a lot of, lot of uh, punishment. Dong, dong, it's... dong. Wait, we hear that? Yeah, it's all for it happens all throughout the house. Uh, so everybody this... but those in the sh elevator shaft hear the okay. shaft here. There's okay. so many dongs everywhere. I am feeling them, but I do not hear them. So many <laughs> dongs. <laughs> I don't think you should be feeling that many dongs. Oh. <laughs> all of them. I feel like you've levied all so much them. judgment on me, but it's, I feel the dongs, but I do not hear them. Don't levy any judgment um, on me for feeling dong. <laughs> Henrifex, are you still trying to break down these doors? Once he sees that it's not going to do anything and the door seems to be invincible, he'll just angrily throw them open. Okay. It's a ramp that leads into the backyard with the hedge maze. Huh. And a road, Weird. obviously leaving the property through 
like going around the house to the front gate. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's gonna step out, spread his big ass wings, and okay. then just. <laughs> okay, you fly up about thirty feet and. <laughs> Or no, be like oh, he doesn't try to fly away. He's oh. gonna fly up. He tries to fly up to like one of the windows. Okay, you get up to one of the windows. You look in. It's boarded. It, mm -hmm. All the windows are boarded up, so you can't even like see into the windows. Oh, are they boarded up from the inside or the outside? Both. Okay. Uh, you, then you, you fly. can definitely smash those apart. Oh okay. well, oh, I didn't. I don't know because the doors are. It looks like you can smash them apart. <laughs> All right, he's gonna. Yeah, he's just gonna like latch onto the side of the house and just start clawing okay. and slamming. So those of you in the, in the bedroom, you just hear. <laughs> So uh, Henry, take make door, a, I'll throw, throw it out to this window if you want. All right. Wait, I recognize those chains. Uh, you wouldn't uh -oh. recognize these ones. This is different. I he, feel he, like I've a, seen he's a pit, effect. No, it is a pit fiend. Yeah, because we haven't adventured together we haven't so seen in like yeah. Years. yeah. So, like, what are the odds that Carnifex got a little wild at no. Nia Bjork's mm, wedding? No. <laughs> <laughs> he just got uh, wild at that no. wedding. Vortex. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> We were all sure. All right. Uh, that's a 30, a 25, a natural 20 for a 34, and a 31. Do you want to roll the damage? Uh, would you like me to? If you want. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I guess I'll give the crit to the mace. That's fair. That might just yeah. do it. That might do it immediately. Uh, actually, no, the tail. The tail's going to get the crit. Okay. So yeah, the three of you are in the room, and you're just here. <laughs> Let's see, 10 plus 8, so roll that. I'm gonna try to put uh, Flitz behind me. 32. 40 damage from the tail. The window just immediately shatters on both sides, and you guys see a massive pit fiend looking through the window. Just a yeah, just big red tail just slams through and snakes Flitz back. Flitz is up. at the door trying to get it open. Flitz, get behind me! Oh, hi, everyone. I'm a fix. How's it going? Pretty good, how about you? Flitz is still screaming in the background. Oh, calm down, I'm not that scary. Uh... Then, just gonna try, just try, <laughs> just squeeze his way through the sure. window, folding up the wings like horns. I'm gonna try to like pull Carnifex through, but I'm not that strong. Yeah, yeah this is a large the size. Shoulders and hips are the yeah, hardest. So the yeah. window is directly above the child's bed, so as soon as Carnifex comes through, <laughs> just a foot through the mattress. Yeah, just. <laughs> So it has to like pick up a foot and try and shake it off. All right. Where did you come from? Uh, I was in the basement. Wait, who is this? With the basement, we're on like the second it, floor. I mean, I we were just up. in the attic. I flew wait, up. Wait, wait, wait. I opened the basement <laughs> doors this? and I flew up. Oh, this is kind of it. Hello. You know how we. Who, oh, did, who is Hen that? Henry Flex. Like we, I, I, we, we I met this? earlier. Like I, I simply won't. No, he was a human man. That, that Carnifex is so hard that he doesn't have at least a little bit of like doughy Henry bleed through. <laughs> they are they're truly one human or one being. I can't imagine that Carnifex is so fucking hard that Henry uh, Henry's doughy exterior doesn't bleed through into that pit. A, a pit fiend with like kind of a little bit of sag to him. <laughs> or like yeah. a, just like a pit fiend who you'd accept golfing. That's Sam's decision. Yeah. <laughs> but over the years and the, over the years and how the pact happened, I did mention that they've basically truly, become like, a singular it, it, entity. It's, it's truly up to They you have, yeah. Don't, yeah. It's the yeah. it's the it's the it's the it, it only shows the the separation the, the the slight distinction only shows up in times like this when they use magic to like mm -hmm. push push the the balance of power over right. entirely and let Carnifex take over. So so to mechanically get this so that you know we mm -hmm. can solidify Drek's knowledge of this, maybe uh can Drek figure out that this is Henrifex? It's not uh, a mystery. the voice is roughly the same. Yeah, oh, voice okay. around the same, oh, and then like a close yeah, just like, oh, hey, it's, really it's, not, it's really not a mystery. Yeah. I didn't know. I, okay, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know it's if I needed to make like. It's the same voice without an accent. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm well, Carnifex. He's, he's also, yeah, he's, he's Thank there. you, Justin. Yeah. Um, now we can move on. Yeah. I'm Carnifex. I'm the devil that was in the small human, and now I'm You're big. Out? Well, he's in here. You ate him? No. <laughs> Flitz, remind you, Flitz has a seven wisdom yeah. currently, so... <laughs> we just changed a little. A right. little? Alright, 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 alright. Right. We still need to find Quinn and uh, oh. Yvonne. 
I saw him. He helped me. He helped me in the basement, and then well, he why isn't he with you? Well, he went through a door, and then he disappeared. Why didn't he go through that Damn same it. door? Wait, he was through this door. Flitz is gonna fly because he's still flying. He's gonna fly out the window. Okay, you're in the backyard. Which which way? No, we just... stick to. No, no, Fritz. no. He went. He went through a different door, an in interior Fritz. door. Fritz, we stick together. Okay. So as, soon, as soon as you fly outside, as soon as you fly outside, you just hear. Okay. Just coming, oh, from, my kid. Coming, from, coming from like all over the backyard, just weird guttural croaking. No, there's frogs out there. Uh, yeah. frogs. <laughs> what do you have against frogs? What did they ever do to you? I you literally have, have nothing against frogs. I'm stating a fact. Hey, and you Flitz, sound Flitz, a little Flitz. water. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let the DM say something to kind mm -hmm. of solidify how things are fucked. Flitz, when animals uh -huh. talk, you understand what they say. You do not understand these croaks. Oh, that's right. Oh. Thank you. <clears throat> nope, just frogs. Nothing, and I don't have anything against frogs, Eclipse. That just sounds like you're projecting your thoughts on frogs on me. I mean, do you have anything against other creatures, like butterflies? <laughs> yes, I do. What, dong, what do you have against butterflies dong, that you don't have against frogs? Dong. Back in the All shaft. Right. <laughs> Back in the shaft. <laughs> Coining Yvonne, you kind of snap out of the momentary. I'm gonna fly down as far as I can, or fly up as far as I can, and Yvonne, you snap out of the just staying still. And you, you, don't, you don't see Coin anymore. Coin. Uh, Coin, make me a perception check based on hearing to see if you can hear that shout over the cacophony of noise. Can't hear. Can't hear you. I know I'm hearing. Oh, okay. Uh, so you said uh, perception based on noise. hearing. I have an extra eye, but not an extra whatever. So I'll do perception roll and boom. Pathetic. Fifteen. Fifteen. You do hear Yvonne, but as you stop your flight, you look in front of you, and there's a dumb waiter grate directly in front of you on the wall of the shaft. But, like, you don't see the mechanisms for a dumbwaiter anywhere in this shaft. No cables, no box. But you're looking directly at a grate for a dumbwaiter. Like a door for it, rather. But I am still coin. Yes, you're still coin. <laughs> uh, uh, no, uh, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. important question. Sorry, so, sorry, this is... Thank you so much for being the DM you are. And I'm, like, not trying to be a fucked up asshole, but, like... As a character, I'm still coin. Yes. And I still care about yeah. living beings who I've met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know Yvonne is there. Yeah. I look at my one way out that I know. Yeah. And I I gnash my dumb teeth and know who I am and just go. It's like a, it's like a pull on the collar, like, Ugh. and just stream towards the one human who I care about, who's in this place, and just go towards. Because I, I, I understand it's a, for lack of a better term, it's a cosmic space. Yeah. I, I, I don't have a definition for it as coin. I, I stream towards the only being who I know who has had voices rattle in their head and they they know they know the thing I'm going through I stream towards Yvonne okay try and get them as close to me as possible like so I don't know where they are like, they're your full yeah. movement speed down beyond dude like I'm gonna I'm gonna go towards them okay I can move on a dash. I can move 120 feet. Yeah, but you flew 60 feet up, so they're, they're still 60 feet down because they didn't do anything. Love it. So I'm going to go 60 feet to be with the right. only living human in this cacophony of noise I can get to. And All right. just with, a, with vulnerability, I'm going to reach my hands out, and if they want to grab, they grab. If they don't. We're going to see what the next turn brings, but I am going to reach my hands out in a vulnerable moment and just be like, and just maybe. Um, 
I'm going to, as coin say, let's get free. Is what I'm going to say to Yvonne because I have seen Yvonne. I've seen Yvonne bend humans to their will. I've seen Yvonne dominate in 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 a mostly pleasurable way. Not trying to be fucked up about it, but like a mostly pleasurable way. I've also seen Yvonne dominate humans, and I, I just, so so as I stream towards Yvonne, and the the only other sentient being I know in this realm who I care about, who's on who's on my team, I'm going to say, let's get free as I stream towards them with my wings and like try to connect. Let let's get free. All right. Yvonne just kind of, like, smiles a little bit of a smirk. She likes when she can get men vulnerable. And ah. she's gonna put that hand up to him, the one that has the whip in it, and just kind of, like, curl, try to curl both their hands around it, just like... Okay. Yes, sir. And like I said, we're not in action economy or anything, so you can just move about as you will. And uh, as you guys are, I assume, flying back up towards that grate you saw a coin? Assuming, I, perhaps, I, or are you still I, like I mean, just I mean, I mean, she may fly towards. I'm trying to just connect with the. Yeah, you can. I'm easily trying to enough. connect with them. Yeah, yeah, easily enough. Yeah. You two are basically just like hovering in front of each other right now. Coin, are I, you okay? Yeah, yeah, no, was, I am trying to. I understand that Yvonne is a. As far as I understand, Yvonne is a more dominant presence as far as, like, they want to project their will. And with, no, with no enmity towards them, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, you have this specific uh, objective. I got you. I support it. I'm into it. Make it happen. We're trying to get towards a thing. I believe in it. I'm making it happen. I support it. Yvonne's gonna grasp your hand a little tighter let's go and fly farther up and let's see with what clear heads can prevail to freedom and she's gonna start start flying up and then she's not gonna like shoot up but she's gonna like start a little tug on his arm just to see if he's gonna come up with her okay So, uh, instead of Yas Queen, you hear Ya Konegin. <laughs> I saw, I half expected ha uh, Yas Mame. Let's do this. Ya Konegin. Okay. So, two of you fly up. Uh, you can hear that cacophony growing louder from below. That's all. And you get back to that grate on the wall. Does it look like it's one of those vents that you can like kind of push out? No, it's like a door for a dumbwaiter, so you open it to be pull up. You pull it to the side. Slider. Coin. No. Keep a tight grip on my hand. Can you do that? Yeah, Konegan. You won't let go. Yakonigan. Good boy. And then Yvonne is going to <laughs> put her fingertips around that door and she's going to try and slide that sucker open. Okay. You're looking out into what looks like the foyer of a house, like a mansion basically, but completely empty, devoid of any furniture or anything. You see staircases going up to other floors, you see doors leading into another rooms. And the only thing you see against a wall is this large grandfather clock just dong 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 getting more like quicker with each and it's about 40 feet away and you're looking through a hole that's like dumbwaiter sized so do you think we could fit through this coin Yvonne's used to being in tight spaces uh, 
She's keeping a hold of coin in one arm, and she is going to s try and squeeze her way through that. Okay, you can you can do it, yeah. And coin, coin will right. slide to whatever crevices he needs. If you can just slip through whatever, like coin will. Yep. Coin is a tiny, tiny. Yeah. Uh, so you can get out of the get out of like the shaft, and you can see how yeah, the grandfather clock just keeps picking up pace with the dong, 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 dong. Just keeps getting quicker and quicker and quicker. Uh, from from the exit, uh, coin is going to maybe. Uh, I'll make the roll whatever we need. I want to let her through and maybe shut the door behind us, or yeah, you can do that. Seal it off. You can't really seal it. You can just shut it. Even if I need to make a latch or paint a latch, I'll take the whatever time necessary. Oh, that'd be an action. Try to paint a latch on it. I got you, homie. All, All right. right. Uh, I'll roll for that. What do you need me to roll? No, you don't want to roll for it. You're just painting a latch on it. I'll use another uh, expenditure for that. Then I'll paint all right. and lock that. that so up. yeah, you're in that, the that hall. That hall was, of all the things we've faced in this world, this uh, house. That dumb waiter's a fucking nightmare. That sucks. I, uh, I don't want to be. In yeah, there. it's awful. Uh, but yeah, Avon. So you, coins painting a latch on the dumb wait the dumb waiter door. You're sitting in the middle of this room with the grandfather clock. It's pace. Just with every passing second, every passing turn, the uh, the donging is getting quicker and quicker, and everyone in the house is hearing the pace just quicken. Yvonne is going to like walk up to it very like purposefully and like kind of like squinting it, sizing it up and down, just kind of like trying to figure out why this thing is going haywire. Cool. Invest if it just looks investigation like check. And that'll I'll be your I'll action, I'll so we can get to the others. Da, 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 da. 16? Uh, something inside of it is weird. Uh, the others, you're in the room. You can hear the, the, the quickening of the grandfather clock that's just all throughout the house, the noise. Henrifex, you said that uh, last place you saw coin was back where you came from? You were, yes, he went in, he went in, he went into one of the other doors and he, and he vanished. Then that is where we look first. All right. Uh, everybody just hop on. Okay. Yes. Is uh, Henrifix hot to the touch? No. Okay. Yeah, just gonna grab everybody up. Yeah. Okay. Also, okay. you wouldn't. Druck wouldn't know because immune to fire. I mean, yeah. immune to fire doesn't mean like you numb to it. You, you, immune, you don't feel hot. You don't feel yeah yeah um oh okay okay uh because um, if you yeah because the elemental plane of fire if you're immune to fire you don't feel the heat the heat from that uh, place etc et so do i always feel cold no you like just, an you undead just, you, no you just don't feel heat like you don't okay. feel burning heat uh um, burning heat yeah but yeah you all clamber on the carnifex then yeah he'll just <laughs> scoop everybody up yeah. and then just jump out the window spread <laughs> his wings okay and then like so, loop uh, around to fly down into okay. the basement again i'm gonna have my unseat servant uh, Bjork's Nest, uh, Gifflet's, like, a comforting <laughs> back rub as well. Yeah, Gifflet's, you just feel something invisible giving you a back rub. Dreams. As we fly. <laughs> also, just in case you guys haven't seen a picture of what a pit fiend looks like, let me just pull Fucking one of those. gnarly. So you fly down to the doors where the cellar was and they're closed. Yeah, great. Uh, land, try and open them. Okay. They're not budging. You said you came out of these stalls, right? Yeah. I mean, you look pretty strong right now, so... Why the, uh... Do you need some extra juice? What's going on? I don't know. The They're three, not, and uh... then the four of you? Just here... Like, loud croaking. Just coming from the hedge maze, like it's getting closer. Turn around and look in the direction of the hedge maze. See a hedge maze. All right, so we've got croaking, we've got clock donging, all of this stuff is happening right now. What do we? What? I we need to find everyone else. But I can't. Can I tell where any of these sounds are actually coming from? Uh, in a direction the, gonging that... sounds, the, the gonging sounds like it's filling the entire house, so there's no set direction. Yeah, so... The croaking it. is yeah. just coming from the maze. And 
we know none of our our people are there, so we're not gonna split up even more. Okay. All right. Meanwhile, sorry. So we can move through this quickly. Back inside, Yvonne, you're staring at this grandfather clock as the pace is continuing to quicken, to the point where you can't even hear the the gaps between each dong. It's just like one continuous dong almost. Uh, and coin, you have painted a lot successfully on the dumbwaiter door. Ah, da 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 da. da. I see it. And it's one of those grandfather clocks that's got like the little door on the front of it. Thank, thank you. I was just about to ask. Um, does it look like there's a lock on it or it just no, opens? Just a, okay. just a little door. This might be dumb, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, and the um, coin's inner, inner lock. Sorry, you said the coin did paint a lock. A latch, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then if it's not on the door, uh, then before the swing pendulum inside that seam wait what I thought, you painted, I thought you painted I thought you painted a latch on the dumbwaiter door oh yeah dude yeah, yeah no no you no, no you're a thousand percent right sorry homie I, I apologize I, I was trying to spatially justify yeah whatever whatever uh, seam or latch yep no no you're one Justin thanks my guy yeah you're a hundred percent right there, whatever seam or thing I've got on mm -hmm. It was it was a a manic latch painting. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. No, I appreciate you clarifying that. Yeah, it is a yeah. I'm there. So, uh, Brit, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh. Go ahead, Brittany. Uh, and Yvonne is just looking at it, and then they're going to wrap their fingertips around the door slightly, yeah. and then Fuck. open it. Okay. Just very oh, like. Oh. So you open it. And mm -hmm. there isn't mechanisms in this clock that makes the donging noises. It's a heart that's going. Uh, yeah. I would like to uh, just wrap my hand around it and just like squeeze it and see what happens. Oof, yuck. Okay. See if it slows down. Well, like make an unarmed strike. Oh no. Uh, does a uh, nat 20 for a 31 work for okay, you? Okay, cool. And since you don't roll dice for a yep. unarmed strike, it's just whatever your unarmed strike damage is. So it'd be six damage cool. then. Everybody outside, you oh, see no. it before anything happens. The house groans incredibly loud like an old house does and shifts and explodes not like a, a death dealing explode not like a fiery explosion it just explodes as if it was never there in the first place Coin of Vaughn you're standing on a large circular kind of platform like of cobblestone in the ground like built into the ground and everybody else is about 30 feet away looking at you and there's just a set of spiral staircases that descend down into darkness. And that feeling that, that those of you with eyes had when you were near a rift, directly below. Yvonne, what the fuck? Uh, what's going on here? I like to sink my teeth and hands into things when I can, Eclipse. That doesn't explain anything. We have a direction, let's go. Uh, yeah, it's okay. down? Follow us. Those of us with eyes, we can feel it. It's down there. Is this the middle of an explosion? Or like uh... The explosion didn't do anything. It is kind of just like there was an explosion of light and the house was gone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. I, thought, I, I was trying to react to it like if it was happening. Like, is there a... Like, I don't know if I would protect or move towards like... It's kind of just like instantaneous. There is no time to do much of anything. It's kind of just a blink and it happens. Yeah. Thank it's you. like it's like if you're in the Matrix and all of the pieces of the walls just start flying off into the distance. Some of us love Avatar The Last Airbender. I would choose neutral gen if I could to, like, maybe block or maybe be neutral to all of the explosion. But we're going down. Yeah, j trying to go down towards action. Quite you okay? Yeah, I've, I've, in general, yes. I Something flew at my face, which is a normal day for me. So let us... Let us... Uh, with, Druk, I think you've said it. Um... Fuck shit up. Yes. Let us go. Yvonne, you good? Just down, down towards them. 
Yeah. Yes, and coin was fantastic in the shaft. That's all I'll so re say. Re reaching for a hand up to Yvonne to slap this kindly. Down low. Heck yeah. Okay. Slap. Boom. All right, let's... Do... What? You said you've closed these rifts before. Do you need the eye people to go in front? Are you better... Or do we just need to run down there? I, and... lead I mean, I'm just to gonna go down people. there and poke... I'm just gonna go down there and poke as many eyes as I can. Coin, you mentioned so you were... To... Coin... Tell me. There's been a lot of talking over each other tonight. Coin, you mentioned you were just going to flank... Going... Taking the lead? I was trying to... I, will... I didn't hear yeah. you over stuff. No, so... I, I... Homie, I got you. Uh, I'm going to ride on... Uh, Druck's shoulder. Because okay, Druck cool. is probably the fastest. I think I... Coin is at least the second fastest or like right there like I'm gonna try and I'm gonna do my best to follow him or get on his shoulder for the ride down perfect yeah okay as Trucks. the group is making their way down Flitz will inform the other three that things come out there to, pl to protect us the one with eyes okay and do Druck will use his speed to get 30 feet ahead of everyone not including coin because coins with him um and maintain that not not use the speed to go beyond that because okay. he could but he's not all right uh so uh henry will not fit down here as a pit fiend oh really it's it's it's, it's the, like the, it's a narrow staircase oh, okay i can't even squeeze no wow um is it? She said it's a spiral staircase, right? Yeah, going down underground into darkness. Yeah, it's not the kind that has like the gap in the no. middle that he could just that's, like, fall that's down. The, that's the stone platform. Uh, okay. The stairs wrap around it. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to keep up with Coin and Drug, just to be like their person without an eye defense. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, Henrifex. Henrifex with that will I use it. Uh, will revert back down into Henry. Okay. Just just like, yeah, just shrinks back down, turns back from red to, to pale, turns back to Henry. Just bo body still kind of like lolling to one side and kind of like puppeted by those like chains under the skin that'll then retract <laughs> back and he'll just, eh, well. and then just sort of they'll there the eyes will flare back into life as the two recombines. Oh. All right, uh, underground it is then. Let's go, everyone. All right. So, you all make your way down, and as you make your way down, you can hear the cacophony again, Coin and Yvonne, the laughter and the screaming and the shouting, and some random dude yelling dong in within the cacophony. <laughs> um, dongs! Big old dongs down here. Oh, <laughs> thick! Accurate time Get your dongs hot and ready. That one's got veins on it. And as you uh, make your way down, that one's been dongs. a bad dragon. Hammerhead. That's a bell end. And as you uh, get to the, <laughs> as you as you as you make your way down these stairs, the stone begins to turn into like this red dough. Like you're walking on, like you're like you're walking through red dough. Like a doughy material, your feet sink in a little bit, and they they come out with like a slop noise. But there's nothing on your feet. It's like you're walking. Through, it's difficult terrain, but it's like you're walking through red dough. And that's where the sounds are coming from. Is the dough on the ground? And as you get deeper and deeper, you can start to hear like chewing noises and more laughter and some still the same guy just screaming trying to scream dong louder than everything else one of those people and uh you can see eyes begin to open up in the dough and they're like various different colored irises different animal like eyes just opening up in the doughy material mouths begin to open up in the doughy material with filled with teeth as you begin to make your way the lower and lower slop dong. yep uh, some of the material is vein real veiny. Um, and as you get deeper and deeper, you eventually, still struggling to get through this Wait dough, um, you come out into this large open chamber about 50 feet high. 
just massive domed chamber. This dough fills every inch of the chamber. The floor is covered in it, the ceiling is covered, and the walls are covered in it. And it's just making this gibbering, this laughing, this screaming, this some moans. You can't tell if they're painful. There are you can tell the difference between painful moans. There are those, and then there's moans of pure pleasure, which are kind of weird in the environment. And then just some guy going, "Ha ha, dongs!" And um, the chamber is lit by a solitary few torches, um, and the doughy mass is writhing, covered in eyes, gaping, jagged mouths. Humanoid faces that appear mouthed and pushing against the mass from beneath the surface, like trying to break free. It is screaming, shouting, laughing, crying all at once. Um, bits of clothing stick out in places, like it's consumed things that wear clothes. Um, behind the mass is a large tear in space that seems to be widening revealing a void behind it, a void of absolute darkness with thousands of eyes staring out. Much bigger than the rift you guys closed in the forest. This one is huge, like massive. And as you basically are standing in this creature, surrounded by this creature, in a room that can only be described as a sticky gob of chewing gum filled with eyes and teeth, and as it lifts up one final scream and prepares and tendrils begin to like snap out of it in all directions. That's where we're gonna end the session for the week. <clears throat> Alright. I am not excited to fight that thing. Fighting a basically Tarask sized gibbering mouther. Oh yes. Oh, oh god. <laughs> That's terrifying. Does yeah. again, was it a wisdom check that people had to it's make? A wisdom save. Or it's a wisdom saving throw. Start to your try turn. To close, no, to try to close the oh, lift. Uh, wisdom checks. Okay. Yeah. And because this one's a bigger one, uh, a little bit more of a challenge involved on this one. But uh, okay. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. where we'll be next week, fighting this big old thing with the rift. Everything in here: walls, ceiling, floor, difficult terrain. The lava you can fly, so it's fine. But uh, uh, that's where we'll pick up next week, fighting that thing and trying to close this first rift. Once the rift is closed, if the rift is closed, we're going to cut from this group for a bit and then see what the next group is up to. Keep in mind, if anyone sends sending spells to the other groups, I am keeping t separate time tracks for each group because we don't know what the other group has done in their two hours. So technically, they're still in that base. So if anyone sends sending spells together, you're not going to get an immediate response because things could have changed. I like will say, I'm listening to Ogden Moon going, do, 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 yeah. do, 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 but, um, yeah, that's uh, where we're <laughs> for the week. I, uh, I dig the idea of, like, a gibbering mouther, but, like, as a boss. That's kind of cool. And enough of a challenge for the level 20 characters in the party, too. A gibbering so. mega mouther. Because got a balance.